I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that song. Let me turn the lights on. Let me scooch this up a little bit. And you know what, chat? Why don't we get on a Japanese train? <sighs> How is everybody doing today? That's a loud ass fucking train. Turn the train down. Turn off the turn the train down. Oh my god, much better. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing good personally. I'm always doing good on Mondays. Mondays are a great day. Back to the work site, no more nagging wife. I really do feel like that a lot of the time, except the nagging wife is just uh my you know, I I, I have the, the the millennial disease where I feel like any moment I'm not being productive is a moment wasted. And, you know, on Mondays I can be productive again. I force myself to relax on, uh, on the weekend. What a fucking freak I am. Truly monstrous. Anyway, I hope that everyone's having a good time. I am. Things are looking up. I got a bunch of really cool stuff in the works. A bunch of really cool stuff coming out recently. We just debuted the first episode of Master of Faster. It did okay. Um... I did the uh, the preview for the U2s. There's going to be a, a tweet about that up tomorrow about like revealing it. But you know what? You all you all are so nice. You all are so special. I'm going to show you it right now. Check it out. Here's the little guy. Here's the little man. There he is. His little thing does that. He's got kind of a cake on him, you know? I We went back and forth uh, about a dozen times about how much cake we should get him. That's not true. Um, but uh, for those of you who are shopping for jars, he's about, uh, about 9, 10 inches tall. Wait, hold up. Let me check again. Uh, with the top knot, he's probably about a foot tall. You know, actually, many people would say this is actually more like 3 or 4 feet tall. And that actually they'd prefer it to be about 4 inches tall. And, you know, m maybe it's better, you know, anyway. <laughs> I'm really excited, uh, really excited to be able to, uh, to get those out. That one that I just threw over there, I'm going to be giving away at YCS uh, Rally, if you're going to be there. I'm going to be at Rally. Be having a good old time. I'm going with, uh, with my good pals, Daniel and Jordan. I'm trying to think who else is coming. Do I know anyone else is going to Rally? I, I know that Crush Cards isn't going, which is really upsetting. I... The, like, Crush Cards, Dzeef, uh, Nim Nim Triumvirate. I love seeing at events, and I hope some of them are coming. Uh, but uh, I will be there. I'm driving. I'm poor. I'm driving. I believe Leah is. Oh, God. I hope that's not true. Leah, if you come, can you promise not to... Can you promise not to... Um, to steal Danny from me? I'm going to write Jolene, but about Leah. Leah confirmed she will be there, so don't count on Danny being around. Okay, I'll be honest. I knew Leah was coming, but I, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna blow her cover in case she was uh she was hiding from me. But it's too late. <laughs> uh, can I get you all to sign something in private? Of course. Just come up and bother us at any time. We love being bothered. That's actually true, by the way. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm having I'm having a good time uh, over the past couple of days. I uh, I cleaned out my um oh I'm seeing Simo right I forgot Alex is gonna be there. Uh, I cleaned out my to do list which is unbelievable. My my to do list is a thing of of beauty. It really is a fucking pile, and that means that tonight I need to meditate. I I this is what I do is I clean out the to do list, and it takes me like a month to clean it out. Uh, cause you know things keep happening. Then when it's finally done, I meditate for like an hour. And I think of all the extra shit I have to do <laughs> that I've, like, been neglecting. I go in the anals of my mind, and I'm like, okay, I was supposed to do this, and I didn't do it. Um, what's Alex playing? Edison. Can you all please convince Leah to play main event? I'm trying to get my friends to play main event, but they don't want to. I, I keep trying to tell them that this is the best time uh, to play main event of all time because Yu-Gi-Oh is so good right now. Because it's so fun. <laughs> no I will play one round and drop just like Richmond Ugh. Leah came to Richmond and her and Danny played one round of the main event and then dropped then went off to go canoodle somewhere and I was like oh I can't wait to get an update from my friends about how their run's going 
And I think one of Danny won his round, and he was like, whatever, you know, I'll drop. I'd rather go hang out with Leah than play Yu-Gi-Oh. And that's how I know that, that I've lost him forever. Do you think we'll get another ban list mid-event, buddy? I hope we get a ban list <laughs> before the event. Uh, Leah is, I, you know, I'm not going to say this um, more than probably a dozen times, but Leah is, is racist. Uh, she played a white person round one and said, that's all I want my Yu-Gi-Oh experience to be. And she's also... Uh, ableist for only staying in one round, which meant that any individuals who were afflicted with ADHD weren't able to play her because they slept through their first round. Uh, she's also she's also transphobic for not sticking it out till round three because all the trans people I know have fucking VIP. Uh, so, you know, I, I would say get her out of here. Get her out of here. Do you see her and Danny is it takes two stream? I think it takes one. Me. And Danny. <laughs> it takes two. Ban her. That's what I'm saying. I'm not transphobic. I like dire. Oh, well, then you're problematic for a different reason. Listen, I'm, I, I will say this. I'm not racist. I'm not sexist. I'm not transphobic. I'm not a misogynist. But my class interests are diametrically opposed to dyers. I am, I am, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know... I have some some con some more control over the means of production on the MBT YouTube channel than she does. And for that reason, you know, I have to oppress her at every opportunity. Do you have any advice to someone who's looking into trying streaming? I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, decide on a platform. I think there's a good um, argument for streaming on YouTube if you're starting out. Me, I can't because I've already built a community here. A community of people who won't even let me fuck Danny against Leah's wishes. There we go. Editors don't deserve rights. Got him. That's so true. Thank you for saying that. Finally, someone says it. Can you add this? Let me click what you did. What do you got? Pray forgive me the discourtesy of smashing my hollowed chalice here in this great chamber. I will add this, uh, but it will be a while before we do it. Uh, this next uh, month is going to be really busy for me, my final start. And the way that um, ugh, the way that finals work has finally been resolved by law school. In the past, it was like they just would hit random days and you'd have to go in and do them. And that sucked ass. Now it's like during the, the finals period, you can, t you can on your home computer start any of them and just fire them. Uh, and that's a blast. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be taking those probably really late April. Uh, Mid-April, I'm practicing for uh, Raleigh, but I'm going to be honest, I'm just starting this week, so I don't know how up to snuff I'm going to be. And then uh, early May, I'm going on a vacation. And then early June, I'm going on a honeymoon. So it's going to be a very, very interesting time for me. And then after that, you know, national season starts. Things are busy. Things are busy. Honeymoon pog. I'm very excited. Uh, you know, keep this between us, chat. But... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna I think try and start trying for a uh, a kid during the uh during the honeymoon and I've been I've been working on it I've been cooking something up I've been you know the men if there's any women in the chat I doubt there are but uh, if you don't know this men they have to code the uh, genetics of the baby manually so I'm I'm devoting like probably about an hour a night to just thinking like G A C T T T G C T A A T T G C T D? I'm making something new out here. I got proteins you couldn't imagine. I'm cooking. <laughs> uh, you turn on the uh, you turn on the black light, uh, CSI Miami style, and you'll see um, uh, genetic code sprayed all over my walls like Rose and Homestuck. <laughs> For the three of you that understand what I'm doing here, you're like, God, this guy is so fucking annoying. For the rest of you, you probably think I'm annoying for other reasons. The kid's going to come out wrong if you're coding like that? Oh, yeah. Tell me what you know about coding a child. You better not know anything. Danny's kid's going to come out all fucked up. So, you know, you might as well leave him to me. Danny is coding his kid like this. He's over like L-A-T-I-N-X. That's how, that's how he's doing it. 
I'm, I mean, I'm being annoying. I'm being really annoying now. Ugh. The taco gene. The taco gene thing is so funny to me. Because, like... It was something that I'd never encountered until... Twitter became just, like, where Nazis are. But, like... When those, like, Yimby-type tweet people like Will Stancil, freaks, all, um, tweet stuff like, immigration is good because the quality of food increases, the Nazis go, oh, so I guess you think that Latino people have a taco gene that makes them better at making tacos than Americans. And then they, like, post, like, you know, John Ortega, who lives in, uh, uh, you know, Iowa, who is apparently really good at making tacos. And I just don't get it. Every time I'm like, no asshole. They've been making them their entire life because they live in a nation where that's the, the food that's eaten, right? It's like how Americans are probably better at, you know, making burgers than anyone on the planet. And also at a reheating pasta in a cheesecake factory microwave, right? I mean, I, I feel like we have that on everybody. And door dashing, exactly. I don't know. It, it's it's very strange. I mean, ugh. I feel like now in order to understand anything online, you have to be able to decipher like eight different layers of just being fucking insane. Like no one's brain works right anymore. You, you, you can't go cause to effect anymore. Uh, you can't go stimulus response. You have to like twist yourself into knots to maneuver around like the way that people talk online we're all very stupid we've all become very stupid people myself included i get more out of the loop on online shit every day you being off twitter i mean honestly it feels like you came to the crossroads from that Yu-Gi-Oh me where it's like the evil castle on one side and the bright castle on the other and you're like you know what i'm i'm just gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go get pussy and get a job and it's like damn that's Congratulations, sir. Couldn't be me, but congratulations. Ugh. I should try that. It's not for everyone. <laughs> it's not for everyone. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, Spence. Ugh. Anyway, um, this past weekend was really cool. I, I had a great time in the Challenger Cup. I'll talk about it when we get to the Challenger Cup, but... Oh, I'm just so invigorated in in, in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh right now, specifically online. Um, you know, I could take or leave the TCG, but online Yu-Gi-Oh is just so fucking good right now. And um, it's so frustrating I, I being online. I don't want to go to bat for every tier zero because I think a majority of them are really bad. But the way people talk about this one just irritates me to no end. We'll talk about this when we get to the poll that I ran. But I just like... um. I just don't think... I, I think that the format being really bad in the TCG is our own fault. Like, it's one of those things where, like... You know how Satellar Knight was a playable deck around Duelist Alliance and people would get mad when you'd set four pass? Like, that was completely our fault. That deck wasn't good. But people were like, no, I have to play it. And it's boring as fuck. And I think we're doing the same thing now. And it's really annoying. Uh, we'll see, though. You will play Snake Eyes. You will play Snake Eyes. I know, I know. Um, we will talk about that as well. Don't worry. Uh, we, we just have so much to talk about. But I'm happy to be able to talk about it with you. I, I You know, I, what really irritates me is when stuff happens, like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I'm like, fuck, I can't talk about this with chat. That's so annoying. I almost went live this weekend to do the uh, the Challenger Cups, and I'm so happy I didn't. I just have such a better time playing off stream. I, I feel so bad, but, like, I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with all my heart, and the second I loaded it up on stream, I'm just so mad. The cha the it was, um, it was, like, um, Top 16 was like this, for instance. Uh, when I when I made it to Top 16, I played against a, uh, a, uh, Satellar Knight player, of all things, um, doing the, like, new combos I'm super unfamiliar with. And game one, I go Maxi, he goes Ash, and then on their turn, they go Maxi, and I can't respond, so I lose. Game two, the exact same thing happens. And, like, I know if I was streaming, I would be really mad, and I would be tilted, but it really was just, like, in the moment, I was just like, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Like, that's Master Duel. I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's a, that's an integral, important part of the game. And I, I can't be mad at my opponent, you know? They, 
they built their deck in such a way that that outcome was more likely than not. It, I don't know. I But something about being on stream is just like, because I have to exaggerate my personality on stream, I have to exaggerate my reactions, which leads to me having like a more miserable time as I exaggerate what are pretty understandable decisions from a thinking opponent. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Now MBT just didn't want to lose to me twice in one weekend, so we lost to the Teller Knight player. Jeff, I would I would love to <laughs> I would love to have played you again. Uh, that 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 was the my most infuriating game uh, in Swiss. I played Jeff round uh, seven, and I the reason I cleared as the 16 seed is I lost to Jeff, and thank God I still cleared um, at X2. But <laughs> before we played. Jeff went, I haven't won a die roll all day. And I went, I know you are going to fucking win the coin flip against me. And what happened? <laughs> Ugh, I went one and nine in coin flips too. I, I have just like, that's another thing. Like I would be so tilted if that happened on stream. But I was like, it was like water off a duck's back playing at home. I was like, well, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, I built my deck so that it can go second. I'm not, there were games where like I looked at a hand with no non-engine. Uh, I lost the coin flip and I went, no, I think I'm favored from this position. I just think that like, I don't know. I would, it would never have happened if I was streaming. I, streaming takes something out of you. Hmm. Chatty's talking about how good the format is. No, no. I, I will say, um, some of the talent from challenger cups has reached out to me and been like, Hey, I really appreciate your stuff. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to see you run one of these. And I keep having to be like, yeah, me too. If I ever get the call, I would love to, but you know, just don't think it's very likely. <laughs> I want you to put in a good word for me down at the office, you know. That's the frustrating part of all of this. As much as I meme about how much Konami hates me, I have spoken to and interacted with so many people who work at Konami or are big ups in Konami of America who like really like me or appreciate my presence or the stuff that I make online. Um but Konami isn't just its employees in America. It's 25 Japanese businessmen 400,000 miles away who know that I say bussy a little too frequently. And I, I, there's nothing I can do about that. Have you reached out and asked to run one? I, yes. I've, I've contacted Konami a number of times. And I, I will say, not, not tooting my own horn here, I've put together some pretty compelling pitches. Ugh. They're biphobic. Yes. Konami said, I'll tell you what. You can host a Challenger Cup if you give Danny up to Leah. And I said, never. I said, you're going to have to tie me to the fucking to the cross and give me a hundred lashes before I do something like that. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> speaking of, we watched, uh, Jillian and I watched Starship Troopers this past weekend. After the, uh, the Twitter discourse a couple of weeks ago, we decided to make some time for it. I'd seen it already. She hadn't. And I got to say, like... I really, I, 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 I'm, I'm a Nazi now, like, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny because, like, we were watching it, and after we had both discussed kind of the, the discourse, and I was like, I just can't believe people have come to this conclusion. And she was like, well, I've never seen it. I'd like to see. We're watching it. She's like, this is not subtle. <laughs> it's like, this is not subtle. It was crazy. We were actually shocked. Um, it was actually, uh, we were shocked that it came out before the Iraq war because of just how, I don't know how prescient it was, but it's, it's so funny. <laughs> uh. I think some people are just very stupid. Unfortunately, I think you are just right. I think, I think that unfortunate truth of the matter is that many people on this planet are very stupid. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, <laughs> I was, I was looking at um, I, I looked up like reception to Starship Troopers, and it was like, oh, it like killed at the box office week one, and then it bombed. It was like it's it's something that happens very infrequently. It's like the first week is crazy, and the second weekend is like the worst it could possibly be. And in America, the reason that was is because after the first weekend, a bunch of like movie reviewers were like, this is a movie for Nazis, and it's like. Yeah, like, that's the point. Like, I don't know what to tell you, right? How clear can they make it? Ugh. I don't know. K. Konov, brother. So you've seen the Helldivers 2 discourse? That's why 
that's that's why I think people did Starship Troopers again, or for a second time in a month, is because of Helldivers. The Helldivers devs, God bless them. I just, I love them. They, they, they are running their game the way that I would run a game, which should not be how you run a game. But they're literally just hopping on Reddit and being like, oh, you were having, you know, you were using this no-skill strategy, get better. Like, they're just like, they had to walk a bunch of it back. But I really liked that they were like, we hate you. We don't like you. <laughs> Can we get a Helldiver stream with you, Danny, and Peeps? I'd love to. i love to. Did you see it? They won. They killed all the bots. Did they actually? Did they win? Oh, holy shit. They did. That's what they said. Wow, that's crazy. Surely nothing more will come of them. I'm 100% I'm sure. I did really appreciate that there were... Uh, a significant amount of places where it was like, oh yeah, it's literally impossible to like resolve this outstanding issue. And it's like, how are you people not getting what this is? It was, it was nice. Humanity is saved. I agree. Ugh. I oof. I've been watching I've been watching TV recently too. Um, I've been I, I you know not not to toot my own horn, but uh, I have gotten like the channel and uh, school and everything down to a position where like I have free time again. It's nice. Um, I I'm caught up on Dungeon Meshi. Man, that show really is something special. I watched the first couple episodes and I was like, eh, and then I I stuck with it and I was like, oh, this is this is really something nice. I really do like this. Um. I never finished uh, the JoJo Part 6 anime, so I've been watching that. Man, I completely forgot how much of Part 6 is just... Ugh, fucking hell. Th that's what this does? Okay, sure. Like, <laughs> Part 6... I liked Part 6 reading it, but so much of it is like, here we go, man. Oh, fucking hell. It's the most things happen of any of the JoJo parts. It's like... <sighs> I'm I'm caught up to uh in the anime. I'm doing Bohemian Rhapsody. I just finished, and I'm like, I can't do this, man. Holy shit, Bohemian Rhapsody two part episode. They resolve in four seconds. It's so it's just like stuff happens. It's the most stuff happens anime ever. The Planet Waves Dragons Dream Fight is such a fever dream. The Planet Waves fight is like, what is even fucking happening? Like, you're getting two episodes out of this? I don't understand Dragon's Dream. Okay, so Dragon's Dream, like, manifested by way of this guy getting really good at Feng Shui. And then it just points, like, as to where Feng Shui would work if there were it, with people... And so if you attack from that direction, your attack is guaranteed to hit. And the guy is independently like an insanely good martial artist and shit. It, it's just so fucking stupid. It's so... There's so many stands in Six that are just so goddamn dumb. <laughs> They're just so, so fucking stupid. <laughs> like dozens of them. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to fucking deal with the rods. The rods, man. Survivor is a great stand. I love Survivor. Jailhouse Rock is a really good concept for a stand, but the fight is the most boring fucking thing in the universe, and she creates a string computer with her own body, and I'm like, fuck off. I'm not, no. It gets worse in part seven. I don't agree with that at all. With the exception of, oh, what's the fucking grid one? It's like chocolate, chocolate something. Disco, yes. Fucking hell. <laughs> we'll all just we'll all just suffer through chocolate disco. Rods is the simplest stand in part six. What the hell? Fuck off. 
Yeah, so there's a cryptid that exists in this specific place in Florida. Your stand gives you control over them. That, okay, that makes sense, right? Wrong. If you're not concentrating, they'll move independently or become individually suspended. But if you m maintain your composure, you can control them in some sort of pattern. Okay, that's something, right? Uh, they stand, uh, the stand attacks based on where your body is heated. And they have the ability to go into your body and cause internal infection, which will decrease the heat in your body and cause your organs to fail. No, stupid, very dumb. You can circumvent this by lighting yourself on fire, but I'm going to put out the fire by grabbing the back of your neck. But you, the fire and the neck, it, it did the opposite of what you wanted, and now I have lost the fight. That's, that's the Rod's chapter. You're telling me that's e that was the easiest to understand? Fuck you. Weather forecasts is easy to understand. He controls the weather. Done. <clears throat> no, it's gonna it's gonna get a lot worse. <laughs> We're about to get to heavy rain, so it's gonna get a lot worse. Uh, tell me what White Snake does. We all know what White Snake does. Do you think White Snake would be like nerfed by the decline of DVDs? Diver Down is a six stand at least. It's so the anime does not tell you what Diver Down does. I didn't realize this. Like I, it's been a while since I read the manga. I don't remember if they tell you in the manga or if I just absorbed it through like, uh, you know, uh, secondary materials. But they just don't tell you what Diver Down does. He's just like, Diver Down helps me protect you. And it's like, oh, okay. And it's like, oh, it like goes through the wall, sort of. And it's like, no, it does like a million things. <laughs> it just does anything. <laughs> Ugh. It's very strange. I, But I remember when I read the manga, I was like, I guess I get it. But watching the anime, I'm like, they really don't explain this to you, do they? Ugh. Uh, it, it, it is one of those things where, like, yeah, the VA is carrying the performance by being, Diver down! It's like, okay, that is pretty cool. Underworld? That's, no, that's where I am right now, watching that it is under, Underworld? I think Underworld makes sense. Uh, maybe I'm out of my mind. I think Underworld makes sense. The other thing about, when did 6 come out? It was pre-9-11, right? Because all through the Underworld fight, I'm like... Did he predict 9-11? <laughs> this plane went down in 2005. The 9-11 fight is so good. Great. Part 6 happens, I think, in, like, 2013. Yeah. But it, it's funny. I don't know. I, ugh, I I really am kind of disappointed in the 6 anime. And a lot of it has to do with the way it was released. I, I just can't... Like, obviously, Trigger is a great studio, and uh, Dungeon Meshi is just such a good source material. Um, but it, it is just staggering how much more invested I am in a show that like every week I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Then a show where I'm like, yeah, and I can just watch this in a sitting if I try hard enough. It's just so annoying. Trigger David production. Yeah, d uh, I'm not going to talk about David production. <laughs> Comparing a David production anime to like a trigger anime is not really fair, but like, you know, you've, come on. <laughs> I hope that they learn from their mistakes before, uh, before seven comes out. What's your favorite part of JoJo? Steel Ball Run. Although I will say I was not a huge, uh, I was not a huge Golden Wind fan until the anime. I thought the anime of Golden Wind was the the best anime of any of them by a lot. <clears throat> mm.
Okay, I, I'm done talking about JoJo. You got me on the JoJo stun lock. I, there's so many. I have so many stun locks. We did Starship Troopers. We did JoJo. Uh, I spent this weekend cooking a lot. We get um, HelloFresh and Factor are very kind to us. They're always sponsoring us, and usually their sponsorship comes with a box. And so we'll just get a box of food, you know, in addition to the sponsorship. It's like saves us some groceries. And I'd, I'd fallen a little behind. And we had, like, a couple of HelloFresh boxes that were kind of turning. And so I was like, fuck it. And I only cooked this week. Everything we ate, it was like no frozen meals. I was just cooking. And, man, cooking is... Cooking feels so good. Oh, I love cooking. Ugh. It's, it's wonderful. Not to hype up HelloFresh or whatever. You know, exclamation mark affiliates in the chat if you want uh, a sick discount on your first X number of boxes. But it's, it's always fun. Cooking is fun. Cleaning sucks. One thing that changed my mind was having a dishwasher. That really changed a lot. Undertale Yellow. Oh, yeah. For those of you who are waiting for the Undertale Yellow video, I'm just going to tell you right now it's not coming out. Um, I think I probably already talked about this, but it was on like a Tuesday stream, so no one ever heard about it. Um, the unfortunate truth of the matter is that uh, Undertale Yellow as a, um, a, a a cultural phenomenon, its time came and went three months ago. And it would feel weird resurrecting it for a review for people who are not on the fence about if they're going to play it or not. I feel like everyone who thinks they like it has already made their decision and everyone who doesn't hasn't. And one of the things that irritated me is making the video, I was like looking at other people's reviews and pretty much everyone kind of echoed the same things I was going to say. So I thought to myself, like, is it actually important that I specifically get the exact same opinions other people have out, potentially not only reigniting a discussion about this thing, uh, but also directing a bunch of, like, uh, negative vibes towards the people who made what is, in essence, a labor of love and, like, a love letter to the fan community. I don't think it's written very well. Uh, I don't uh, find it to be a peer of Undertale. Um, I think it makes a lot of really, really confusing decisions. Um, but... You know, voicing that I don't think is a really productive thing to do, and that's that's kind of been like something that I um I have to come to terms with as the channel grows. Is like even on a channel like Clips that's only at like 35k or something, like stapling my name to this does ensure that at least some traction will go to uh, something that is very negative. So. Are we hating less now? I think I just want my hate to be a little more directed, if that makes sense. He only hates women now. Yeah, exactly. Can you do the Homestuck 2 is good video instead? You know, I can, but it really sucks that, like, now there's just a new Homestuck 2, you know? I... <laughs> What would Homestuck 2 is good even be? You know, like, sorry, you won. You know, you got what you wanted. All these people left the internet forever. And... New Homestuck 2 is good? Yeah, it's fine. It's moving a little too fast for my liking. I would have preferred if Homestuck 2 just happened perpetually for the next 15 years and never made any progress. We agree. All right, I think I'm ready to go. Are we uh, are we prepared for the freaks, folks? We got some we got some stinkers today. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. We got some stinkers. Can we read the Bellatro changes? No, but I've been playing a little bit of the Bellatro off stream. I love playing Bellatro. We probably won't play it tonight. I think we've played enough. We might play Isaac. Or we might play Bellatro if you guys want me to. If you insist, I'll play Bellatro. I would love to play Bellatro. Okay, we'll play Bellatro. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? I've been having a lot of fun. I beat my first... Oh, no, I actually didn't beat my first uh, non-white stake. I even played the free the free low deck and I couldn't beat it. These are hard. Okay, freaks time. A louder than that, please. Alright, alright. So 
Uh, we have a number of these today. This one I couldn't remember if I did on Wednesday, so I'm going to do it again. In St. Petersburg, lawmakers view a clip from Skibbity Toilet, labeled debauchery by Russian children's ombudsman Anna Mityanya, April 2024. I have to say, 1984, actual 1984. What the fuck? How could... What? No... Do you think they played Skibbity Fortnite as well? Uh, you know what's crazy? I can tell which Skibbity toilet this is. Tell me they play it. Come on. <laughs> this is three? No, this is one. Oh, but here we have the second one here. Wonderful. Next up. It's good to return your shopping cart to its proper place at the store. Quote tweet. Y'all really doing free labor for a corporation? Quote tweet of quote tweet. It only makes a low wage employee's life harder. Reply. Somewhat low wage employees are racist, but okay. God, this is it's just how it is online these days. That's what it's like. That's what it's like, folks. Sometimes someone's finger is on the pulse. Next up. Y'all heard of the 999 challenge? All right. Nine beers, nine hot dogs, nine innings. Whew. Do you think we can do this? Now, before you all say peeps, 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 listen, I love peeps. He's a good friend of mine. He is not doing this. Peeps is an incredible lightweight. He will be passed out before beer number four. I am pretty sure I can do the nine dogs. But the, the nine beers. I don't think you all understand how much a beer is. Nine beers is like... More fluid than you consume in a day. And it's functionally canned bread. I mean, it's like... This entire thing has got to be like... Like 12,000 calories. The alcohol is nothing, but it's so much liquid. Yeah. And the other thing about nine innings is that is not very long. I know what you're thinking. Nine innings, you do this over the course of four hours. That's just a nice Saturday. But now that they have the clock, that's like two and a half hours max. Like, oh. By the way, I I I had I had not been to a ball game with the clock until like last year, and the first one I went, I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" I'm like, "This is progressing a little too rapidly for my taste." But now I, you know what? It was it was the greatest decision ever made. I have become a true believer. I'm like, I love it. I'm like, all right, we're moving. It's not it's not bad. Let me calculate this. Miller, this is what a Miller Light. Miller Light. Uh, nutrition. 1400 in the hot dogs, 864 in the beer. Okay, well now I think I could do it. The problem is it's killing pitchers. Well, if I do the 999, I'm going to be killing a pitcher. <laughs> this is American beer. It's uh it's it's basically water. No one in this thread is concerned about getting drunk. If you're eating 2,000 calories and drinking what is essentially nine gallons of water, you're not getting drunk. You're probably getting drunk, but you're, you're, I mean, I'm sure you're okay to try. <laughs> but, oh, man. I think I would have to practice. I legitimately think that I would have to practice. I don't think I could do I don't think I could do nine tall boys. All right, let's let's keep let's keep moving. <laughs> Voter outreach is going great. It's a war, but hey, call it any damn thing you want. You saying genocide doesn't scare anyone. Let me help you. Genocide, 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 genocide. I stand with President Biden. Uh, cool. 
great. <laughs> this is this is going to go well. I think this upcoming election is going to go really well for everybody involved. I know what you're thinking. This is insane. You know, there's there's pretty much no way this, yeah, Undertale Yellow style post uh, is going to convince anyone to vote. Uh, here's the alternative. Um, this is what I've been getting on my Twitter feed all week. Uh, activists triggered by this funny t-shirt. T build the wall, right? You got this AI build the wall. This comes from funny politics shirts. It's an ad that came up on my feed. You think this one's not great? All right, I got another one for you. Trump 3D gold trading card graded gem mint 10 by WCG. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That's a grading agency that everyone trusts. Let's uh, let's listen to the, the VO on this. And I want you all to guess if it was done by AI. Oh, good. I can't even click it. I have to click the play button. You do not want to miss this. This Trump Save America gold collectible trading card can be yours today. 23 karat gold foil, rated gem mint 10. Grab them before they're gone and they'll be gone fast, believe me. Do you think that they got him to say gem mint 10? Now I know what you're thinking. That's that's a little crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't think I could spring for the uh, for the gold plated trading card. How about the uh, silver trading card? The silver Trump trading card can be yours today. Grab it before it's gone and they'll be gone fast, believe me. Okay. All right. Okay. But let's say, let's say you, you have, you have something else in mind, right? Uh, how about the mugshot as a trading card? Now as a collectible trading card. This is all I've been getting all fucking week. <laughs> oh my God is, but of course we also have to have new Trump fighting for America trading card. Trump fighting for America trading cards. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are absolutely Each gorgeous. Each trading card comes protected in a case to preserve your investment. And it's officially graded gem mint 10, which means it's in perfect condition. <laughs> Order yours today before they're gone. And they'll be gone fast. Believe me, exclusively from Proud Patriots. Okay, we got to get one, right? Okay, let's see how much they are. $30? Wait, thirty dollars? Oh fuck! I mean, you would be a fool not to get one at that price. Oh my god! Oh, in fact, we can get twenty. We can get three bundles of them for a hundred and fifty dollars. That's crazy. Oh, let me ask you: Are you cracking these slabs? Are you sleeving these up in your fucking in snake eye? Holy shit! Oh my god! Fucking hell! Oh man, let's see what else they sell on this website, proudpatriots.com. Oh yeah, it's all fucking shit. It's all fucking bullshit. Uh let's see. We have we have the gold mugshot. The ooh, this one has a hologram. Ooh. This this is good. Never surrender on a picture of him surrendering to police. That's really that's smart. Oh, that's um Oh fucking hell. That's uh oh boy. This would, I will say, this would be a hell of a field center, right? <laughs> it's like, I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not considering it, but I'm considering it. All right, let's watch some TikToks. If Hotline Bling had guitar, I love this. This is actually, like, really impressive. Like, I play a little guitar, but, like, if you don't play guitar, you might not understand why this is impressive. But let's listen to this together. You used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> That's pretty good. I got. I gotta be honest. That's not bad. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. I. Oh. My um. One of my my high school girlfriends. Our like song was uh Mr. Brightside by the Killers, and sometimes I'll just hear it in like a grocery store, and I will just I'll I'll get lost in thought, and I'll think. Thank God she did not ruin a good song. Could you imagine? <laughs> Uh, I always had a, the the whole time I was like, she was like, oh, it's our song. I was like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I wonder what Jillian in my song is. We don't really have a song. It would probably be like <laughs> the John Acapinti, my pillow song. We sing at each other a lot. Skibbity Fortnite. Yeah, exactly. All right. This one. TikToker explains how restaurants like the Cheesecake Factory use freezers to maintain such a large menu. What the fuck? Holy shit. Cheesecake Factory is getting exposed by what appears to be Christian Urena's brother. 
Uh, this is what, what the fuck is going on here? Is, uh, the, I love Gen Z people just learning the truth of this. I got so much shit for saying Applebee's sucks. You all understand that like 50 to 60 percent of chain restaurants just have a bunch of frozen food in the back and then you order it and they put it in a microwave and they give it to you, right? That and uh, as Zoomers figure this out, it's just like it's like, Whoa, man, that's crazy. It's like, yeah, stop going to those places. <laughs> Holy. And that, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, again, not to, not to belabor the point. Instead of mandatory military service in America, what we should do is you have to do six months in the trenches of Burger King. Like you have to do food service for six months to get citizenship. I think it would solve every problem problem in America. Everyone becomes more empathetic. Everyone starts understanding <laughs> how, how fucked up the food service is. Everyone understands how much of an asshole other people can be. Mandatory for high school? Not high school. You should have to do it when you're 30. So, like, you know that you're above it, but you still have to do it. <laughs> you should have to you someone like seven years your junior should call you a slur to your face because their microwaved food wasn't as microwaved as they wanted all right next up this shit sucks man okay pink floyd the pink floyd fucking one of the greatest bands in the history of time they hosted a i think one hundred thousand dollar contest for uh to make a video for a song off dark side of the moon and this is the winner i mean fucking come on uh, it looks like the fucking glorb spongebob one look look at this fucking hell it's it's just like default iMovie titles tell me it doesn't look exactly like this so the crab finally responded, huh? I'm about to turn this diss track to a murder I'm like, scene. come on. It's the exact same program. It's the exact same program. Oh, my God. Do you think Glorb entered? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's so it's so painful. And I, I hope... I hope that they're just boomers and they saw it and they're like, wow, this is really cool how every frame changes in like minute ways. How trippy. Instead of like just signing off on what they knew was slop. Check quotes to see what lost. Yeah, so there's the big thing that people are upset about is this, uh, which lost and is this like hand animated, really beautiful video that I can't play because it's got titties in it. But oh man. It's just like so sad. Like, it's just so sad. <sighs> Next up. <laughs> this person rocks so much. Okay, you got to vote on your phones. Do you think this is a person who is doing a bit or are they some sort of sincere? Friendly PSA that your local public library is better to work at than a coffee shop. First up, true. Fast Wi-Fi, free, tables, desks, workplaces, magazines, books, newspapers. I use the public library three blocks from my house. It's like having a free WeWork. Literally true. When I have writing days, I just go to the, to the library. My dude, my guy, I am allergic to paper. Books are allergen sponges that retain other allergens. I can't tolerate being around people at all because y'all use toxic fragrance. I need tons of coffee not to go into anaphylaxis just being in public. Some have different needs. It's got to be a bit, right? I think the speakeasies for this particular 20s decade should be for COVID cautious people. Champagne flowing, HVACs blowing, and the password is a mask with a sip valve. Pathetic post. The response. See, this is why death is my only hope. You don't, I, I'm saying that all the time, by the way. You don't care about anyone who needs to be protected from more than just COVID. Alcohol hangs in the air like COVID and is highly inflammatory and incidentally can send me into anaphylaxis. Uh, my mom said everyone should go to the dentist every six months. Your mom must really want you to die of COVID. Okay, like. What are we thinking? It's It's got to be a bit, right? But you have to understand, this person has like 100,000 tweets that are like this, 
and a YouTube channel where they upload like every couple of days a video talking about their specific ailments. So like it has to be a bit, but it has to be like, look at this, the most, the most dedicated to a bit I've ever seen a person in the history of time. I don't know. Literally Joseph Smith. Ooh, do you think they've seen the golden plates? All right, next up. So when are we banning TikTok? Okay, before we watch this one, I just want to let you all know. I do not know anything about the legality of what this person is talking about. I am not qualified to give you legal or financial advice and do not want to form a legal partnership with any of you. I am saying as someone <laughs> who has seen similar things online, do not do this. It strikes me as something that, if not currently illegal, will be illegal in seconds. And even if not illegal, is a fucking terrible idea. Let's watch this together. You all are going to really like this, I think. This thing I'm doing to make extra money. I've started selling trade lines on my credit cards. I'm using this site. This isn't sponsored. I just want to point out that they're like legit. And so essentially what this is, if a person has bad credit, but they know that they need to get a mortgage or a car loan or something, they pay money to this website. This website matches them up with me based on what they're looking for. And I add them as an authorized user to my credit card for a set amount of time. They don't physically get any sort of card. They don't get my name. They don't have my information. I have all of their information, um, but the thing is, because they're an authorized user, they get my credit history, and that raises their credit score. Okay, so like, <laughs> I don't know. I Again, I don't know too much about finance, but to me, this is odd. In fact, it strikes me as something that rhymes with odd. They get a better interest rate on whatever loan they're trying to get. And I would not be doing this if I didn't know multiple people in person who had also done this and like said it was legit because it seems so sketchy. I gave this website my banking information so that they can direct deposit me money. Even if it's legal, don't do this. And the amount you get paid depends on your credit limit, the length of card has been open, various things. And so the ones I have ranges from $40 to $80, which might. Even in a best case scenario, this woman is like permanently ruining her credit. Adding all these authorized users, giving her personal information out everywhere for 80 bucks. Donate your fucking sperm at that point. 80 bucks. Come on not sound like much but if i get 40 dollars and it took that's not even a bonfire <laughs> me five minutes to add an authorized user on my credit she doesn't card. have sperm as far as that's you know for me so i've done this a few times now i think i have eight possible spots on my different credit cards they've paid out about 200 dollars so far and i have another 200 pending just ad admitting to crime online for 400 total dollars. I don't know if I would recommend it from the other side because these people are giving me their full name, birth date, address, and social security number. Let me just get on TikTok. If you sign up for this, you get a bunch of people's SSNs. Like they just have to trust that I'm not gonna sell that on the black market. I don't even know how to do that. So their secret's safe with me, but I don't think they're getting any of my information anyways. If you have a good credit score, this may be for you. Let me tell you right now. If you have a good credit score, you're probably smart enough that you're not going to do <laughs> Oh, man. That's the... Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is worse than the, the $1,600 a month, you know, Silverado, right? This is unbelievable. Oh, my God. Next up. 
For my newsletter this week, I wrote about how an industrial chemical manufacturer became a TikTok meme and what Chinese influence actually looks like on TikTok. I love the concept that the evil Chinese are corrupting the minds of our youth with TikTok. This is what is happening as a result of Chinese influence on TikTok. Let's just watch this. Joe Biden, please, Joe Biden, please. Drop the prices of glycine. Joe Biden, please, Joe Biden, please. Drop the prices of glycine. Joe Biden, please, Joe Biden, please. Drop the prices of glycine. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? Don't worry. I have the context. Prior to being cucked by inferior industrial and food grade glycine suppliers who don't adhere to FCC, E640, USP, BPEP, and JSFA production standards. Yes! Not glycine girlies, edge yourself down to Donghua Jin Long. As 2024's major glycine manufacturer, Donghua Jin Long is able to provide high quality industrial grade glycine from their premium factory on the glorious expressway that is Huagong Middle Road. With a whopping 31 patents under their belt, this supplier knows glycine. In fact, their entire neighborhood is filled to the brim with beautiful strodes and interchanges, so you can freely roll coal on your way to this premium source factory without running into a single NPC who has been brainwashed into thinking Ajinomoto Group's inferior food grade glycine is a suitable alternative. <laughs> You see, in 2024, if you have not unlocked Donghua Jinlong's high-quality industrial food grade and new pharmaceutical glycine, you are at risk of being emasculated by a lower-quality non-ISO 450001 certified supplier. All my glycine-pilled queens know that the only choice is Donghua Jinlong. Since 1979, <laughs> Donghua Jinlong has been the premier choice for all of your glycine needs. I love it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. <laughs> These videos make me feel like I'm going insane. Uh, <laughs> All right, next up. Okay. <laughs> the only good consequence of Musk's new algo is it pushed this random menswear guy onto everyone's feed, at which point it became clear he has a once-in-a-generation talent for posting. I'm sure you're all familiar with Thy Workwear. This is one of those guys that is just a loaded gun, and you got to stand out of his way. I do not want him ever, ever perceiving me, saying anything about anything I do ever. <laughs> he is, he, he has, here's the thing. There's so many people who their posting online is just derivative of, like, other good posters that they have seen and, like, whose personalities they have integrated into their own, right? This is a man all his own. Like, legitimately, I do not know anyone who posts the way that this guy does, and he is so goddamn good at it. Let's just... Let's look at this one. <clears throat> I did not once mention Baron, and yet everyone instinctively assumed I was referring to him. Us aristocrats have always stood in the center, undefeated. You can make your jokes, but you cannot unpeasant yourself. He goes, aside from the fact that this guy sells online courses on how to get rich, I will explain why it's obvious from his clothes that he's not an aristocrat, but a middle-class driver. Then he does 40 posts about how his suit is tailored improperly. He goes, I have aristocracy in my blood. You just read about it. Levels. Is your blood also off the rack? I, awful. The the one of these that um that really got to me is when someone was using their real name on their Twitter bio, and he called their tailor and asked if their suit was bespoke or they just used a bespoke service and the tailor confirmed and it was like it was the most horrifying thing i've ever seen he was like i just called your tailor and had this confirmed i was like i gotta get out of here i i can't be around these people <laughs> they're a much higher power level than me i felt like fucking yamcha you know it was oh my god it was horrifying okay uh next up Okay, so <laughs> are you guys familiar with Wild Woody? So there's a Sega CD game. It's a platformer. It's not very good. It's called Wild Woody. Uh, it's about a pencil. It, w it was a piece of shit game. Well, it turns out that a pornographic go-kart game has purchased his likeness. This is Shady Lewd Cart. And is using him as one of the characters. We have, there he is. The name's Woody. Wild Woody. My game was meant to sell a million units. Spoiler alert, it didn't. Now I'm, you know, see he's holding someone's bra there. Here he is, he's Matt. I just gotta say, I unlock Woody Ludes. Good, we get to see his dick too. I gotta say, 
this kicks ass. This is so good. <laughs> Apparently, it's the original VA and everything. It's so funny. It, it's, I, I got, I got, I'm now interested in this game. It worked. Ugh. All right, next up, folks. It's over. The Bored Ape-themed hamburger restaurant in Long Beach, California has shut down. What the fuck? All my apes gone! No. Coming soon, Chile Verde. It's being replaced by a Latinx restaurant. Oh, no. How could this have happened? <laughs> Look at this piece of shit. Oh my god. Ugh. Jesus. Next up. Yeah, I'm going to need the manager to come out here and blow me. Uh, did you guys ever have these? I don't know if they still have them because I don't really go into Taco Bell anymore. I realized this the other day. I was like, you know, I haven't been in an interior of a Taco Bell in like years. I guess I went once. Like, in the last five years when, like, the, the drive through was broken. But um, Taco Bell used to always have this item in there. And it was if you could get a coin to that to one of these racks based on the value of the coin and uh, the rack that you get to, you get a prize. And the reason that uh, usually they disappear is someone gets too good at them. And me and my friends got way too good at them. Because uh, you don't get much for a penny, but it's nothing. Like, you practice on a penny, and then you do a larger coin, and then you can't lose. Um, because it's a similar hand motion no matter what. So I think it was if you got to the bottom one, you got a beefy five layer. Or you got a uh, you got a cheesy bean and rice burrito for free. So we would just go to the mall, bring a quarter a piece, and just go, all right, gimme. And it, it was like, they had to remove it. <laughs> like We were just, we were eating them out of house and home. Yeah. Ugh. I miss this kind of stuff. Me too, you know. I miss there being stupid shit you could do places. <laughs> the Taco Bell where I live went out of business. Went out of business. How does a Taco Bell go out of business? The thing that... Uh, I, I'm not like a big return to tradition guy, but the thing that has me on return to tradition is that the beefy five layer is $3.89. Like... I ate probably 100,000 of those in my youth because they were 89 cents, and that was the amount of money I had. Like, uh, it, ugh, disgusting. All right, next up. Let's do some me stuff. Okay, before we do the me stuff, I'm going to go bring my, my DoorDash takeout back in. Why is Gay City trending? I, don't, I didn't know your hometown was trending. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm gonna answer some some texts real quick. You need to see this gay city tweet. How could that be? <laughs> a straight man jumped in gay city for refusing to twerk. Uh, that's that's true. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna show that. Um. Okay, so let's do some of the me ones. Uh, first up. Magic the Gathering has finally had their pendulum moment. They grow up so fast. I'm slowly turning into a magic boomer. Stop making new mechanics. Cards were not supposed to have text on both sides. Years of design, but no real world use found for any card types past enchantment. Wanted your spell to do more if you paid more mana? We had a word for that. It was called kicker. Yes, I would like to attack my siege that I have chosen you to defend with my creatures, please. Statement dreamed up by the utterly deranged. Look at what R&D have been demanding your respect for all this time with the money we gave them. These are real cards printed in real standard sets. Have I committed a crime this turn? They have played us for absolute fools. So... I think this post is phenomenal. I think it's funny. Um, a lot of people are talking about how it was posted ironically, but you all know what's going on here, right? It's one of those posts that's like ironic, but also contains the author's real opinion. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, you know what this is because I do this all the time. It's like a shit post with ironic elements, but also does communicate a fundamental opinion or meaning that is consistent with what's in this you know you know this you know so um <clears throat> what what's going on here is that uh they've posted a bunch of standard legal cards that are just annoying and um i i said you know oh they were having their pendulum moment they grow up so fast uh and then you know the difference is that pendulums ruined Yu-Gi-Oh is wrong commander ruined magic the gathering is right which i i i do feel that the focus on commander has been a huge detriment to magic um the this is very funny to me because I've, I've seen so many people all day just talking about how actually this isn't a bad thing. I, I'm sorry. Uh, a card sliced in half and the right side says to solve, you control no suspected skeletons is not a line of text that should be on a Magic the Gathering card, and other people have voiced similar opinions all through this thread. The truth of the matter is, I think the design of Magic the Gathering is starting to feel very Reddit, insofar as, like, it used to be that mm, cards on the Magic the Gathering custom card subreddit were always trying to convince you that the person writing it was smart and cute. It's like you would read the card and you go, oh, that's smart and cute, right? And now, like, they are trying to do the same thing every single set. They're trying to figure out a way to put, like... I mean, literally to put, if a rigor you control would assemble an, a contraption, it assembles an additional contraption on Black Border every single set. Um, and it's frustrating. It, uh, what You all are too young. You're too young. You don't know what I'm talking about. Um, it is frustrating, for sure. Um, but talking about this and interacting with people who play Magic... Um, you know, really did uh, reignite something in me. Um, uh, and, and I do, you know, it got me really in my feelings thinking about Magic. Because I really, Magic really is a game like no other. It is really, really fucking good. And um, it is really frustrating to see these things precipitate in these, like, really silly cards in a game that I, I has been so much of an important part of my life. I played Magic from, like, 2006 until, like, 2016. And it's important to understand, doing stupid shit is something that Magic the Gathering has been doing forever. Um, in 2006, uh, the, the set that was out when I started playing was a set that was designed to 
uh, kind of conclude all of the ongoing uh, planeswalker stories by being like, their incessant planeswalking has destroyed the universe. Um, it is only by sacrificing their individual sparks and decreasing their power level can they mend this in, in what was called the mending. And it coincided with a set, uh, a, a block called Time Spiral, which was subdivided into three sets, the first of which included one card per pack that was time shifted. It would be an old magic card printed with like a new frame. Uh, the second of which uh, included a card, this is Planar Chaos, that was color shifted. It would include like Fireball, but it's in white. And then the third one would print cards from Magic's Future. And these cards were sick. Uh, Tarmogoy, for instance, very powerful card, um, when first printed was such a crazy rip because it it said um, this card gains attack based on how many card types are in the graveyard. The card types are, and then it listed like creature, artifact, enchantment, sorcery, planeswalker, and tribal, which we didn't have yet. It was crazy. It was so cool. Um, also in 2006, Cold Snap released. Cold Snap, the third set in a block that concluded a decade earlier. They were just like, fuck it. Let's just make Cold Snap. You know what it is? You know, it's, 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 it's silly shit was always happening in magic but it's frustrating because now it feels as if if the silly shit is just the same silly shit over and over again which is figuring out a mechanism by which to put um fun words onto cards and uh and then just shipping it um and you know it, it, it really sucks because in thinking about how much i enjoyed magic and the systems i enjoyed uh playing with back when i played magic i was like oh i would love to hop back into magic tomorrow. I wonder what's good. And in looking it up and researching it, unfortunately, it just sort of, I mean, like a Yugi Boomer sunk in that the magic that I enjoyed playing just doesn't exist uh, anymore. It just, it isn't something that like the, the type of constructed gameplay that I want to play doesn't exist anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, there's nothing like Yugi Booming. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Um, there are certainly people that like the way magic is now. There's a ton of them and the community has transformed a lot. Uh, and in many ways for the better, um, it just sucks that like what I want to do can't be done anymore in a game that prides itself on kind of freedom of expression. Um, the thing that really irritates me is the way that they tell stories now. Because magic was never like, I I'm just going to level with you all. It was never great at telling stories. But the way it feels now is like every block has so much fan service-y shit and is resolved in the most Simpsons episode way ever that nothing changes. I saw a tweet uh, responding to like the, f the frustration that there aren't consequences in magic anymore. Like no one ever dies. And they were like, there can be consequences outside of like death. And it was like, okay, I understand that. But like Jace's trauma isn't going to show up on a card, right? I'm one of those sick people who likes when the story can express itself through the gameplay, you know? And I, you can make the, the, the stories written on the mothership as good as you want it is not going to change the fact that sitting down and playing with the cards feels like Fortnite. It kind of feels like Fortnite. I don't know what to say. And I don't know. For many, yeah, and that's a good thing. For people who like that, that's great. And I'm glad that people like that. It's just not what I want out of magic. It's moved beyond me. And, you know, hearing people talk about magic, it's so crazy, like, doing occasional um, work with magic creators and finding out that, like, our knowledge bases just don't interact. That, like, kids these days, I don't want to be an old man, kids these days playing magic just don't have the same vocabulary and mythology that I do right learning that like they don't know the same players i do they don't remember the same hype moments that i do they have completely different like here's where the story jumped the shark interpretations the uh the way that they play the game is fundamental talking to that uh that one james guy and just trying to describe the concept of junding them out i was like you all don't know what junding them out is what is happening
I don't know. And, and you know, the the yeah, there there are well known, extremely popular creators who like have never seen a Star City Games like event, who started like after Dragon's Maze, right? Who don't remember, you know, Blind Delver, who uh for whom they just don't have the same stories. Um I don't know. The top magic players are still around even from their early days. No, they're not. LSV and and Reed Duke and stuff, they're around, yeah. But there's there are dozens that are just gone forever, you know? These kids know Kibler as a Hearthstone streamer. And Kibler's like, I wouldn't even consider him an old magic player, you know? He registered for the next Pro Tour. Let's go. Couldn't the same be said about Yu-Gi-Oh? I think it could. And like I said, I think this is really analogous to Yugi booming because I'm not saying magic now is bad. I'm saying it is not for me and the magic I want to play doesn't exist, which is what fucking <laughs> this is what Edison enjoyers say. And I'm saying that I am shocked that people have a completely different lexicon and different mythology than I did playing Yu-Gi-Oh. And th it's the same for, for, for Yu-Gi boomers. You know, they, they want to talk about how oppressive Mystic Mine is and how... um. <clears throat> Uh, you know, how how bad tier zero was, right? Uh, you know, they don't have they don't have the words about like uh crush cards being passed around and like uh Teledad tier zeros and like uh when people would write the insector lines on their playmats and be like, How epic is this? It's just a completely different um it's a different group of people. Do we have any old Yu-Gi-Oh players in the space still? Oh, we have a ton. We have a ton of old Yu-Gi-Oh players. I Jeff Jones was just in the fucking uh, UDS championship. Uh, Pre-modern isn't really what I'm talking about. Pre-modern is it, it feels a lot like Trinity and that it's a it's trying to capitalize on on people's feelings like this, but. <sighs> hmm. The other thing is I don't want to play 4th Ed Discourage. That's like, that sounds really bad. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to play 2014 Modern. <laughs> Gameplay and Magic is still good enough for me to look... Uh, is still good enough for me to look away from other things I don't vibe with. Yeah, that's probably true. I, I don't... I imagine the gameplay of Magic is still really rewarding and interesting. but But it's not something that's appealing to me. And even if it wasn't, I can't find a constructed event that'll fire within a hundred miles of me. Nah. <laughs> also, you can still draft. Thank the Lord for that. But if I have a problem with modern card design, that is kind of impossible, right? I find it funny. I remember specifically seeing your name in an old Magic the Gathering goldfish video. Huh? I wonder what that is. God, I wish I could find that. That would be so funny. But I don't know. It's, um... Oh, unless you mean, like, the deck. In which case, like, yeah, Mono Blue Tron as a deck is still being played. I don't know. And a, a lot of my issues with it comes from, like... I hate that, that the designers are trying to out-cute us... Um, I hate that the sets are so commander focused. Uh, I hate that that they are so bad at telling stories on cards. Yeah. Uh, but I did want to point out, let me see if it's down here. So my post about this, yeah, there it is. No, there it isn't. Fuck, where is it? Uh, my post about this ended up. Oh, the other thing that that irritates me is that um, 
a lot of Magic the Gathering players uh, can tell me I'm a dumb idiot because I haven't played their game in like six years. Um, a significant amount of you, of the people who are complaining about what I say about Magic, uh, know less about Magic than I do. Fuck you. You're not allowed to, you have to do your time. Uh, hold up. Yeah, here it is. Um, so this made it to reddit.com uh, on Magic the Circle Jerking, um, which is funny. I <laughs> Magic the Circle Jerking is an interesting subreddit because Magic the Gathering players are pretty much always circle jerking. And Magic the Circle Jerking, like like the like half ironic meme, they are always like not circle jerking, right? <laughs> so um is people doing here. First comment, unjerk. 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 Like, if it's a circle, if, if you're circle jerking, you have to circle jerk. If you want to post your actual beliefs, you have to go to the main sub. You can't just post a, a picture on circle jerk and then stop circle jerking. What does UJ mean? It means actually, I'm going to step aside for a sec and instead of doing a bit, I'm going to let you know my real opinions on the subject. Go to the main sub! You should not be allowed to break character. Pendulums didn't ruin Yu-Gi-Oh. If anything ruined it, it was Konami. <laughs> well, that's true. Printing insanely generic links. Okay, well. What do you mean? Boral Sword is completely fair. That's a circle jerk comment. They're like, Boral Sword isn't fair. That's true. Don't get me started on Typhon, who can be brought out with your normal summon. Come on. This is the first Typhon hater I've ever seen, actually. I, I didn't know people hated Typhon. <laughs> Insane that MBT would just go, yeah, pens did nothing wrong. Twitter, the only website where you could say a completely different sentence. When it's a mechanic so complex and game warping, it's divisive to this day, even among casuals. Complex, yes. Game warping, eh. Divisive to this day, even among non-casuals. I don't know about that. That's Tarkir block old. I'm aging. What is? Oh my god! I want to find someone doing a circle jerk, unjerk, 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 unjerk. They're just fighting. For those who don't know, MBT is a hundred percent shit posting. I, eighty five. Oh, he's shit posting, but he lives for drama. Fucking theater kids. Thank Frank Dog Five. Show yourself. I know you're here. You fucking. <laughs> Oh my god. Are they please be in chat? Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, um I don't know. I why even post this on Circle Jerk if you're not going to Circle Jerk? Just 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 post it on the main sub. But in general, I you know, I I think that probably all this stupid shit is fine. I think that I'm sure that it enriches the game in a very particular way for a very particular set of Reddit players who uh, want to see the designers letting you know what a smart and special boy they are. Um, for me, it trades off with my ability to consistently enjoy the game, and that's why I haven't enjoyed it for a while. Like I, I want to be completely clear. The reason I'm not making magic content has nothing to do with the fact that I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is the superior game. I think they both have pluses and minuses. Um, but, uh, it has everything to do with the fact that when I started making content, there was no free simulator for magic that looked any good. I could have been the next, I hate card games. You guys remember, I hate card games. Hey, what's up everybody. It's, uh, it's, I hate cold calls. It's so crazy being, oh my God. No, come on. Oh my, it's been so long. Filter by people. Channel. Oh my god, did they delete? No. No. I'm going to find it, don't worry.
Got it. Hello and welcome to I Hate Card Games. Levi, Levi Thomas. Thomas. They switched their name. I Hate Card Games. So today we're here with Modern. Today's deck is called Break and Breach. This would have been me, man. This was almost me. It was almost me. Eight years ago. Fuck. It's crazy being like, yeah. Um, the people who influenced me most when making content are sub 10K YouTubers from eight years ago. <laughs> uh, which is, makes me think that our opponent is possibly on death cloud. I don't know. That's just where I ended up with magic. And every time I talk about magic on this, I think about getting back in. I'm like, why, why, why don't I? And then I, I go on MTG Top 8, and I go, okay. I click okay, and then I go, what's good now? And I go, oh, well, it seems like most of the events that are firing are like Commander, and I have no interest in Commander. It really irritates me that Commander has been become, gone from this, like, here's an expression of myself as, as an individual thing that you do with your friends while you're hanging out to... Yeah, everything exists for this now, so you have to maintain 55 different super-optimized decks, and you have to negotiate politics the entire time about like what level your deck is. Let me try the, the constructed formats. Well, Legacy and Vintage are out because I'm not a billionaire. Let's check out Modern. Okay, I'm not a billionaire, so I can't play this anymore, and the decks that are really good are really frustrating. Oh, cool. Uh, five different red-based aggro decks. Uh, awesome. Uh, well, I guess I could play Amulet Titan for the 10th year in a row. Uh, let's check out Pioneer and oh wait a minute, Arclight Phoenix. That's kind of nice. Rakdos Aggro. Uh, I, I could I could roll with that. This Amelia Life deck is like a cool combo strategy. Niv Miz Reborn is a control. I I like that a lot. You know what? Actually, let's get into Pioneer and then I go and I Google Pioneer events around me and none of them come up. And thus ends my foray into Magic. <laughs> I could play standard. Same thing. I Google standard events around me. None come up. Popper is great. Love Popper. I'm a big Popper fan. Same problem. I've never seen a Popper event fire in the United States of America. What about Arena? Man, if I'm playing a video game, I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. The important part of magic is the gathering. <laughs> All right, next thing that I'm going to talk about relative to me. I did it! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking pleased with myself. I, as you all know, I have been gunning for an official Konami top for a long while now, and I refuse to go to regionals because I do not believe in them on a fundamental level. I, it's just against my religion, which is not spending my Saturday with Yu-Gi-Oh players. Um, but I topped uh, the 256 person um, Kriparian Challenger Cup and I got immediately washed in top 16. Here's Crip uh, watching me get washed. Um, as soon as I uh, as I heard that he was hosting this one, I was like, oh my god, it is my dream to clear and then get immediately killed while Kriparian watches. I'm like, this is this, I have to do it. And I'm so happy that I was that I was able to do it barely by the skin of my fucking dick here. Look at this, 16th place. I was one of the uh, the X2s with really good breakers. Um, I had to say many prayers to the Yu-Gi-Oh gods, to the Yu-Gi-Oh gods. Thank you for that. Um, I want to really quick, uh, also, th this is the deck. It's nothing special. Um, I'm playing the uh, the Dracosac line, uh, though I probably shouldn't be because it was never coming up. Um, I do want to real quick uh, give a couple of, <laughs> of specific shouts out. Crip was so good on this. Uh, Kangas was obviously doing a lot of work. Um, but the last time I saw Crip doing Yu-Gi-Oh! anything, I figured it was the uh, the Eric Stewart VTuber thing. And it was like, it was not good. It was He was just like fumbling his way through like fucking uh, 10 E combos. He was like, I can't do this, man. It was so bad. Uh, that whole event was a fucking travesty. Um, and so I was a little concerned when I heard Crip was coming back. He did a wonderful job. Apparently he, he has played some amount of Yu-Gi-Oh in his spare time. He's, he's doing the like... Um, the casual trajectory where they're like, I want to play the, the danger dark world deck. Um, so he was like talking about that the whole time. Um, but, uh, 
the he and he he was riffing too like uh uh someone killed dirt doing the maxi challenge and he was like maybe this card's just bad they they killed him anyway how good could it be and it was it was great kangas obviously did a lot of the work um they were a really interesting duo to listen to i have really been blown away by the challenger cups in general i hate to suck konami's dick but i'm i i will say the challenger cups have they've run really smooth despite the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh players are notoriously bad at following directions uh they have gone quickly, which has been nice. The production, even from stream, they have like streamers that are not consistently streaming. They have squeezed decent performances out of them, which is nice. Um, and uh, I really, <laughs> the one thing I wish would change is the amount of rounds. The fact that you have to go X1 or better in anything but a seven round tournament, which is what this one was. Uh, means that uh, you honestly have to go like undefeated most of the way, um, which uh, really rough is really rough. Um, but everything and the prizing fucking sucks. But everything else is uh, is really nice. Um, I even like, I even kind of like the format right now too. Like, call me fucking crazy, but um, the Snake Eye. Uh, let Let me just pull up the Master Duel meta. Uh, what was that? Yeah. The Master Duel Metal least list. The Snake Eye, Tear, Super Heavy, Lab, Branded, Math Mech, Unchained. These are all fine. I like them all. I think Snake Eye being the sole inhabitant of Tier 1 is a little misplaced. But, like, I, I think this format is okay. <laughs> it's, like, a bunch of different decks that are all kind of interesting and have different strengths and weaknesses. And I feel like Rogue decks can take games off any of these strategies, depending on how you draw as well. I, I like... There was so much crazy shit in top 16 of this event. The The undefeated player was on fucking Teller Night. It was crazy. Um, a huge, unbelievable shout-out, though, to uh, to the people I was testing with uh, in the uh, uh, <laughs> Despriggan's Booty uh, server that's very helpful to bounce ideas off of and uh, get information from. Um uh, I think every Master Duel grinder in that server now has a uh, a Challenger Cup top, which is crazy. You know, I've never been a part of a circle where there are good people in it before. Uh, but um, it's, uh, they actually, two of the individuals from that server closed out finals and they were talking the whole time. They were like, if we get to finals, we're going to do an NR final. And then they got to finals and they were like, ah, nah, let's play it out. <laughs> But they they did TCG siding rules because um, Master Duel siding rules are a whole collection is the sideboard. But they did TCG siding rules, and um, it was a it was a fun fucking event. I it was a lot of fun. I I love these, and I I now permanently have an hour of crypt talking about uh, me and my channel. Like fucking uh, Kanga is like, oh you know, um, MBT made it, and I was really rooting for him. And Crypt was like, oh yes, I I know of that player, and I'm like. Oh, not to, you know, not to glaze another content creator, but Crip really is a big inspiration for me. He's one of the people that I watch uh, to cure my insomnia, of course. Um, and uh, I was really happy that I got to show him my APM analogous to his own as I got my ass beat in this event. Um, I also feel like uh, I played super well. Like, um, uh, I made one very weird decision in uh, top... Uh, top 16 where after losing game one i made my opponent go first i maintain that that was a defensible position i think snake eye has an exceptionally good time going first especially when you have the capacity to side or uh, go second rather and um my opponent uh is playing what i imagine to be a very fragile combo deck i opened two hand traps he had an answer for one and didn't have one for the other and passed on almost nothing and unfortunately just fired maxi and draw face <laughs> is that how it, how it went um uh but uh it was uh it was it was enjoyable. It was it was a good time. Um uh and I also not to not to brag, Crip did like this post. So I I did it. I did it, mom, you know, etc. You've now been acknowledged by two Hearthstone streamers. Wh which two? Let me get um who who are the three that I would want to be acknowledged by? Back when I was watching Hearthstone, Crip was big. Raren? No, listen. I respect Raren. He's a little after my time. Kibler. I would want I would want the Kibler acknowledgement. But I know Kibler from Magic, like from decades ago. Although I, I do still watch Kibler. Uh 
Forsen, I'm good. <laughs> uh, I would say... Oh, day nine. I mean, but day nine, I know from Starcraft. Um, it would be, uh, it would probably be Raynad, but uh, I don't know if any of you saw the recent Raynad stream. Uh, things aren't going so hot. <laughs> things aren't going great. <laughs> uh, we may not be getting the bazaar anytime soon, folks. Uh, ugh. But um, I'm a MBT. You were also a StarCraft fan. I was. I was. Um, he's still working on that game. You know, the worst part about the bazaar is that everything I see about the bazaar, I'm like, this game looks fucking incredible. Like, I would play this game 10 hours a day in a heartbeat, but it just doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Uh, no, but I was super happy about this. And then the number one thing is like, I was having a really tough time kind of overcoming the fact that I felt like I was constantly bubbling these events, really frustrated about it. And everyone has told me this, they're like the first top is the hardest and then it's all cake. You've been there before. And I'm super excited to nose back to the grindstone. I'm playing in this week's uh, challenger cups, at least one or two of them. And I hope to be able to replicate my performance. Uh, but I will say this is trading off with my ability to practice for rally. Like, uh, I am going to show up and play around Maxi. I am. <laughs> uh, um, shouts out to some of the other people who top two. Um, Jeff, the person man, almost kept me out of top cut. Uh, but Nim Nim's editor uh, did, uh, did, did show up. Um, and uh, I do want to say also, I lost, I went one in nine on coin flips. But like, that's fine. Like, I think that's okay. You know, like I just, uh, I hate to, I, I don't know how to describe this to people. If you're like, Oh, best of one's not competitive. You could just lose the coin flip. It was better for me to lose the coin flip. The, 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 the decks are just built in such a way that the coin flip really doesn't matter that much. Ugh. If you're playing a good deck, I mean, if you're playing a bad, like if you're playing a super heavy samurai, you do have to win your coin flips. Um, and I do feel like, um, like I said, I do feel like I played really well. My losses were out of my control. My losses were to Jeff, who... It was the mirror. He won the coin flip. And unfortunately, just like... I opened a less strong hand than he did. Classic Snake Eyes problem. Um, and then... Uh, the... My second round, uh, I opened one hand trap against a what I expected to be a Snake Eyes player, and you usually need two, and the one was Ash, which is like, if you're going to do one, that's like a really unfortunate one to open because it lets them do the Hita lines, uh, but they didn't do the Hita lines, and that's because they just killed me. They were playing Volcanic FTK in their Snake Eye deck, and I went, okay, well, that was fun. I did want the uh, the Jeff uh, rematch, but I, I couldn't clear the, uh, the Teller Knight deck. If you have that replay, I, uh, I have that replay if you want to show it. Uh, I think tomorrow I am putting up a, a video that is talks about like my run. and the, I, I have all my replays saved. Except for one, I think, the person... People were being such fuckers about like they'd create their own room and then close it as soon as you left so you couldn't scrape the replay. And I'm like, fucking hell, man. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> But if you want to see any of the lists from this, uh, they are available on uh, ygoprodck.com, including the Teller one. And then last thing I want to do before we get into Prague is um, I just want to talk about Snake Eye. So a lot of people, um, I feel recently, I, this is I'm making this in the wake of the Philadelphia um, regional, in which, uh, from what I understood, based on conversations I had with a lot of individuals who went there, something like a third of the room was just on a dog shit fucking stun deck. And, you know, the variation changed. Um, you know, sometimes it was... Uh, sometimes it was, like, Runic. Uh, sometimes it was just Fossil Dynapacocephalo, Gold Golgonda. Uh, sometimes it was um, Chainburn. Um, but uh, so many people thought, like, that was their option. And, uh, in fact, Runic Stun ended up winning the event with uh, Chainburn getting top four. And um, uh, 
I just... I think there is a mythology that surrounds Snake Eyes that is giving it a lot more credit than it is worth. I think people feel like Snake Eye is so unbelievably powerful that it can't possibly be beaten. And as a result, they have to do whatever they can. A la when people were trying stun decks against fucking tier during uh, tier zero. Um, and I don't think Snake Eye is tier limit. I don't think it has the capacity to beat a lot of its counters. Um, it is an incredibly flexible layer deck, but nowhere near as uh, powerful as tier limit was. Um, it, it does have a weakness to a significant amount of the cards uh, that uh, it does have cards that feel like silver bullets. But for some reason, people have got it into their heads that the only way to beat this deck, that depending on your definition of tier zero, is not even tier zero, is to play the most annoying stun deck in the world. And I feel like they're really doing themselves a disservice. I just want to, as someone who's played a lot of Snake Eye, and maybe it's because I'm bad and I like, I'm not unlocking the true potential of Snake Eye, I feel as if the average Snake Eye pilot can be beat by any deck I would consider rogue consistently. Like, I think it is shocking that it's at 6.1% here with the majority of people thinking you have to be playing like a counter picky ass stun deck to even go toe to toe with the deck in any sort of consistent capacity. But I don't think that at all. I just, um, it's very strange. And I think that mythology is a result of like all the top players are playing the deck, which is unsurprising because, you know, uh, the top players are going to play the best deck. The gap in understanding between the average Snake Eye player and a professional player is pretty large, at least at this moment. I imagine it will lessen with time. And I think a lot of people have never been behind the driver's seat of Snake Eye. They saw the price, said, I'm never going to be able to afford that. There's no reason for me to practice it. And just practiced against it. And if you're just flying blind against the deck, like trying to intuit where you should be interacting, it is going to feel unbeatable. So I don't know. And I think a lot of people have done, I mean, I'm uploading a short about this momentarily, but I think what a lot of people have done is they got it into their heads that Snake Eye was an unbeatable tier zero super threat, a la tier limit, decided they were sitting the format out and said, well, because I'm not investing in the format, you know, I'm not buying cash, I'm not buying voiceless, so I will be buying just a $30 stun deck and rocking with that. And it has precipitated a format in which those are the only two decks that are really seeing consistent play, um... But for reasons that completely escape me. For economic reasons, not necessarily power level ones. What's the problem with playing stun for economic reasons? There's not one. But I feel like people are thinking it's their only option when it's not. And I think that they are audibly... Oh, hello. Hey. Is that my sweaty wife? It is your sweaty wife. Jillian was just mowing. You uh, you like sweaty wife? I don't know. Yeah. Want to get yeah. sweaty too? Yeah. 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 Oh. You're feeling good. Holy. Uh, your food's downstairs. Thanks. You're the best. You're the best. Uh, chat. After a long day at work, there's nothing better than getting to mow a lawn. Wasn't even our lawn. She went to a friend's house to mow their lawn. Yeah. He went to a friend's mom's house to mow their lawn. <clears throat> I taught a seven-year-old boy how to, you know, mow the lawn, and he was really happy about it. Jillian loves lawn mowing. It's like her favorite thing in the world. It's the best. And I got to pull out weeds, too. And then I put them in a pile so then the seven-year-old could practice mowing them. Oh, good. Good concept. It was fun. I'm glad you had fun. Thank you. How's chat? Are they fun? Yeah, they're behaving. Yeah. For the moment. Well. Did you all ever settle the Sadie debate about mowing? We did. She doesn't go out to mow anymore. Yeah. Um, Jillian's dad coded. Yeah, you know. What She's a dad helps? wife. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think my gender identity's dad wife, you know, like, very feminine. But I do all the dad shit. I like 
sometimes the spirit of dad jokes comes over me and I cannot like physically contain myself from like saying a dad joke. I'm, I'm just dad coded, you know, I'm just the dad wife. Mm-hmm. All um, right. I can't wait until Joseph and I have a kid and the kid has two dads, but one's me. <laughs> Jillian, how good's your grill game? I do the grilling. Yeah. Joseph does the grilling. I do the grilling. I, and I do the chilling. She does. <laughs> it's like jokes like that. All right. Bye bye. I love you. I love you too. Chat, I don't love you, so let's watch uh, Prague. That's mean, but I'm glad you're being honest with the chat. Mm. 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 Oh, I can't wait to talk about these fucking Tempai cards tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to get online and talk about these Tempai uh, cards. Pump, pump. Pre pre watched. <laughs> pump, pump. No, I got through the previously. Oh, I typed in progression for the category. All right, chat. Are you all ready for this progression series? So a number of you things see. I want to say about this progression I mean, as it is starting it so that it makes the uh, beginning completely unlistenable. I know you all like that so much. Season two. Um, this one's 40 game? minutes, is which is not very many minutes. Uh, something ridiculous probably happens. But secondly, I've been told by a number of people this is maybe the worst episode of progression in a long while. I'm super excited. Pump, pump, yeah. In this series, all right, let me turn it down just a little bit. And while they do in this series, I will tell you who's up. Woo, woo, woo. Thank you for the 26. Blue Rose, thank you for the 100 bits. Falchion, thank you for the 23. Turtles are awesome. Thank you for the 11. Lord Nair, 459. Thank you for the 5. Malgius, thank you for the 9. Uh, Azriel, MD, thank you for the 12. Bearded Champ, thank you for the 8. Brandon Go, thank you for the 26. Fednegator, thank you for the 14. Um, Ori, thank you for the sub. Prune Revolver, thank you for the 4. Agra, thank you for the 200. A Duo Kit, thank you for the Prime. Psycho Pink, thank you for the 10. Heartbreaker, 7. Next thing the sub, the tree of cabbage thing for the eight. Saint Samael the fallen thing for four. Goofy hat Matt thing for twenty eight. Princess Pearl thing for the thirty. Long time worker smile thing for three. Not a nutcase thing for seventeen. Atari pitfall thing for the seven. Jack of all games thing for the eleven. Conductor alto BMG thing for the twenty seven. The mediocre whiz thing for the fourteen. Devil hands thing for the four. The carbonation thing for the hundred bits. Click the affiliate links in the description and use code. And John Von thing for the sub. And clicking the TCG player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with. Do you think we'll get one day rush duels in the TCG? God, I hope. Last week, I know we won by the skin of our teeth, but look, we've been throwing misplays back and forth. Oh, we've been throwing, we've been throwing it back and forth. Very happy we ended up. I hope you throw it back on me. Definitely needed it. We were on a lose streak for nobody's fault but my own. Looking to regain our ground. Let's hope we spin something. It was not his fault. He's too hard on himself. Let's just see what he's too hard on himself. Let me give it a click. He made a defensible play. Oh, excellent. That was a little loud for you guys here. Hold on. What am I getting? He said it. Oh my God! Okay, yes, we can do it. Bro. We can do it. We can do it. We can do See, it. See, Alex can take away as many cards from my collection as he wants. At least I'm replenishing them with something just as good. Starlight Wild Card. What a banger! You guys know I always have I Wish TCG mm -hmm. cooking decks up in my corner to help me out. Um, and there's one card he's been begging me to get. Oh my God! I can spin lucky enough on the wheel. Oh my God! That card is mine. Oh my God! This ruins the game. Holy shit! Oh my god, tell me he plays this deck. Holy fuck. Master. Currently forbidden, currently also in Alex's collection. Oh, this I'm is nutting. a hidden gem that he's yet to even toy with. Messing with the card with this It's so funny power, to be like, Alex has this, but he just hasn't done anything about it. He is going to be over the moon when I tell him that my master is dropping memes into tweet. the collection with our Starlight Redemption. Let's hope that I have the brain power to be able to make it work. <sighs> Today's set's pretty cool. It's Wing Raiders. I remember there's a couple Wing of Wing Raiders. This was a cool set. That just got announced. I know a lot of people are super excited over that. We're gonna this has the Raid Raptors in it, right? What we come out with today. I, there is a memes tweet. I don't even want to talk about last episode. Why? We, we've had some demoralizing moments here in the progression <laughs> series. That has... Probably got to be one of my worst, but uh, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, a new set and a new episode will uh, ensure that we do not do something Damn. like that again. Quants. Speaking of which, Wing Raiders is our set today. The and PKs, this the set PKs, is dude. Cracked. 
just look at the rares here, okay? So, like, first of all, Cowboy's going to be entering the mix for us because it's a rare, so we're most likely going to get Alucard, Quantal, Mechbeast, Grand Pulse is spell and trap removal for rank threes. Dark Rebellion exceeds Dragon It's unfortunate Seer. we probably can't get this, the Super Quants. I do. Uh, Blue They're layer, just, like, like, too high there rarity. There is something but good in almost still every section of this set. It's actually insane. You know, I feel happier each episode that I banned Dante a couple episodes back because the Phantom Knights get some of their best support. This set here, aged like, like wine. I remember at the so time the of this set's release, like right before, before people were like, oh, this is like a nothing set. Good. And it's like, no. The are crazy. Like every the archetype in this set good. saw consistent meta play. Like PK completely revolutionized how we play BA. PK was played pure the first week this was out. I think it won a fucking YCS. The Quants, of course, were everywhere. For that to happen, which I'm not holding my breath. And then for the commons, we have Crane Crane, <clears throat> which bolsters rank three strategies. All the Raid Raptors get reprints. Mm. You decent stuff like Chalice, MST, Call the Haunted Bottomless. Yeah, we already have a lot of this stuff, but down here, Karen Gorgon gets Karen a common Gorgon. reprint, which is actually crazy. Master I think Key, has we already have that. I don't, so that just fortifies our rank four pool a little bit further. Overall, as far as sets go when it comes to side sets, this one's not bad. It may not provide the most it's generic insane. stuff, like say something like a gold series set might, but it opens up some interesting paths and introduces some new new cards in some interesting ways. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and open some new cards. Uh, asshole, asshole pack eight. I don't think we opened this set previously because I think it's Why too was new. six so afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, crazy? asshole. Look like it? Second pack, uh, nothing great. Although Ultra I'm not sure if stadium. we needed that UA stadium if we want to play UA. Third pack, anything good, please? Another Tomb Mask Sorcerer. That's depressing. Damn, All we're right, pretty close to, to Piper to Chaos. Let's get to Wing Raiders. Ooh, the Super Quantum Green Lair. Mm. I remember as soon as these Super Quantals came out, uh, I think Calvin Tahan it was ended Tahan, up winning yeah. an ARG with the deck. The big Robo guy was really the first card that was like, oh, this guy really just can't be dealt with besides, mm -hmm. you know, give you a, a Gamma Seal or something like that. Oh, God, Ghost Trick Alucard. Fantastic reprint. I think we already had one of these that we pulled in Shadow Spectres, but this was a really good reprint at the time. And mm -hmm. Silent Honor Arc, too. Wow, good to see him again. That's our third copy, finally. Forbidden Chalice is, too, also a great common. I uh, love Calvin Tahan. He's, he's such a cool guy. Course, I'm... He's like this one the most convinced, most convinced of his reprint. his own greatness there is, and he shows up to every tournament in like a slap another like a Bernie Sanders yeah, I mean, shirt. That's, that's it's really it's fucking dope. It only has one printing at the moment. <laughs> just like a type of guy that I'm really uh, happy we at least have a couple representatives of. Uh, later, Master Key Beetle. Hey, remember when Alex was like trying to protect Vanity's emptiness with that a couple episodes ago? You've described Farfa. Well, Calvin Tahan could have conceivably voted for Bernie. Farfa's just larping. Generic rank three that just pops back row is good. Right? Red layer is also another one of those cards that's just actually good. This was played in a lot of extra deck monarch. God, lists red layer is such a good day, fucking card. Being it's a level five, EDM, you can it was just great in EDM, uh, but it's just no it's monsters. been great Cyber in a million dragon, ice hold decks. Better, right? Your opponent doesn't have to have cards. Solid card, great ultra rare to pick up. I'm happy with that. Oh, another red layer. That's actually super oh, sick. I've gotten two red layers in the opening. 24 packs. Wait, if we pull a blue layer, can we play right Super Quant? Up. Let's see what we get in pack Let's number go. one. We don't need Icarus attack, but oh my god, three XCs in the common slot already. Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> Funny enough, none of them are the Karen Gorgon, but I'm sure we'll pull it. Crane Crane is actually pretty good for us because I think it was released initially in one of the previous gold sets, and I think I missed out on this either entirely or I only have like one singular copy. So just having this as a rank three wolf bark is pretty good. There's our Karen Gorgon. Honestly, I don't need more than one of this guy, but we're probably going to get like seven by the end of this. There's our first ultra, or rather non-super. Raid super Raptor summon, calls a stinky Raid card. Raptor call. I'm not it's really sure how card. viable Raid Raptor is, but if there's an mm. opportunity to play it, we're getting all the support here, so maybe. Hey, and there's a. Much I'm Raid Raptor's strongest super soldier, but it's probably not player. playable at this point. Lighter, that'd be pretty sick because we could actually uh, turn. I mean, they have all their good main deck. Um, you know, maybe it is a Rev Falcon. The problem is just like there's no Rum Searcher. There's no Rum Searcher. I don't really know what to say. I'm not really sure if we're gonna use it, but it's actually a notable rare that some people might just look past. Why Strix was. So important. Uh, they're coming in. The Ancient Cloak. The Phantom oh, Knights I'm are good in. right now. There's cards like Fogblade and stuff released in this set that are iconic and still good to this day. But a lot of the really insane Phantom Knight cards come when Rusty Bardish actually comes out. That's in the Link Air. Many years away. Another good Phantom Knight. The Silent Boots there to pair with our Ancient Cloak. Lovely. I just got this guy, didn't I? <laughs> Didn't I just mm -hmm. get this guy in the Mega Pack? I forgot I got a common reprint in this. What a ripoff. This is also quite scary that Gaga Ga Cowboy is now in our format. Speaking of uh, more good generic rank fours, because there have been a lot of times where if Gage and I had a Cowboy, we could have closed out games. And so now we actually <clears throat> are going to be able to do that. So that's scary. Second copy of Raid Raptor Call. I'm not really sure what other ultras. MBT, have you ever read Raid Raptor Lance? 
Well, that's an ultra. I'm not above card. admitting that's I have Knights it. Of Holy Blade. shit, that's it's an just ultra. just like a generically good card. Obviously, it's better in like the PK focus strategies, but <sighs> the fact that we have like an effect negator and a thing that prevents attacking, like that's pretty good. There's our third Raid Raptor call. I'm not really sure if the Raid Raptor deck even plays this because honestly, I don't know Raid Raptors that well, but if that like enables really, us to no. play Raid Raptor, that's insane. All right, coming up on the last few here. Anything Sword's good. good. Oh, another sword green layer. Fuck, rare. we could almost play it. I mean, we need Magnus blade. Magnus, King of the Computer. All right, last two, another sword That's theoretically force. something we could pick and up off like a wild card. Oh, oh, wow, four, four strikes. Strikes. As a seeker rare. That's a hell of a card. Wow, that's a hell of a card. Hands on right now. Generic rank four that searches wow, that's a nice. dark winged beast from your deck to your hand. I remember back in the day specifically with this, I was searching... Zephros the Elite. Pretty cool. This is actually a really great opening for Wing Raiders. Yeah. I'd definitely say above the curve. Two. If uh, I got red this box, I'd be really, so really happy. Strong. I'm definitely a huge fan of that. Well, we're going to add that to the collection. Let's see what uh, we're Back when today. side Only sets were fun to open. Left, and uh, I got to say, I'm pretty happy with everything. Not that I was really looking for a lot out of here, but we've got some of like the okay cards that we did want to get. Like pretty much the generic XC stuff like Crane Crane. It all came at low rarity, so it wasn't too hard to pick up. Let's see what we get in the last few packs here. I think that's like our fourth copy of Ereboros. We did get, I believe, the Green Ereboros Lair, is generic. I'm not sure if so we're going to be able to play we could the actual theoretically Super play it strategy. Still. Unfortunately. It's like a, it has a good Second to last pack. Ooh, another, another red, red layer. layer. Don't mind if I do. I'll add that to the collection. Nice and last big. pack. I, don't think I remember opening this There's set being weirded out that call cool. was in here uh, why'd they put call the haunted in here blue layer which is kind of unfortunate considering we have three copies of e-tell tuck and tyler thank you for the 20 probably just gonna keep <clears> this <throat> honestly i'm not really sure what i'm looking yeah, for no, out of I here mean, so is, we'll just add it to the collection opening. and uh let's get to building alex and i have been yeah what the really quick combo decks in the form of despot what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> he think he playing tcg what the fuck why did you take mind master Why'd you take Mind Master if you're just gonna play this dog shit? Bots, I've been playing Ignite the last few episodes. Performa Pals is sort of a combo deck as well, putting together. Well, he's boarding into forces. another it's been fucking. Been a minute since we've played a whole bunch of purple cards, and I'm willing to bring back that strategy today in a risky move. I'm going to play Stun. This is Barrier Statue Stun, utilizing some of the new cards that we've gotten today in Wing this Raiders. This is so annoying. Uh, I did Holy mention fuck. a card like Phantom Knight Sword was really good. Fogblade's one that's more ubiquitous, negating monster effects and also stopping them from attacking, sort of like a fiendish chain, if you will. But Sword's got a nice purpose in this deck. In particular, this you target so a face annoying. up monster, and if it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you he's, re he's reading the cards yeah. in a stun also deck. Something cool by boosting up a monster's attack by 500 and protecting it the first time it would be destroyed by battle or by card effect. These are going to be great to keep our barrier statue alive, but the main thing that's going to be stunning the opponent, locking Alex out of the game, will be Moon Mirror Shield. Yep. Moon Mirror Shield's an equip spell card that Folks. reads when it battles an opponent's monster during damage crap, the equipped monster becomes equal to it plus 100. And then if this card would be sent from the field of the graveyard, we can pay 500 life points to put it on the top or the bottom. So it really is infinite value to be able to keep one of these barrier statues alive. Alex has to have some interesting way to be able to out a, a pretty hefty lock on the board here if we have a barrier statue equipped with protect it also cards like starlight road are going to be able to protect the rest of our yeah we get it we Deepers get it move on be able to keep it alive let's go battle as well twin twister was just freshly released i have a feeling alex is going to be sprinkling that in a lot of his deck lists yep. so having starlight road be able three. to completely counter that right away is extremely powerful also we just get to play some Triple really awesome road. cards we get to play man. dualities forbidden lances i have a lot of faith in this deck i also think since it's a complete 180 of our strategy before Alex will not expect something like this. Alex can only hope that his deck is completely comprised of Earths, Winds, or Waters. Or Fires, they're in the side deck. If he doesn't, he's gonna have some trouble. Let's go see what he's up to. <laughs> Fools! Did you never think we- Do we have to watch this one, guys? I feel like we- We gotta ban him from playing this deck. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fucking stop him. That was really cool when they opened one of the most impactful and interesting sets of all time, and then played Chain Burn versus Stun. Did y'all really enjoy that? That was I. I really, I really appreciated when Gage said, "Oh yeah, we're gonna use our Starlight on Mind Master, which enables a combo deck we've had in our back pocket for the last couple of sets." I can't wait to bust it out. And then he showed fourteen. Barrier statues to us. Wasn't that cool? Wasn't that awesome when Seema was like, oh, wow, we got a, we got all the the red layers, the green layers, and the blue layers we want. I'm going to activate Ojama Trio. That was, that was awesome. I really love that they're progressing.
we were gonna bring chain burn back again when we have new technology to evolve the best deck ever created gage is absolutely cooked in this episode because i guarantee you this is the one deck he's not going to account for that we are going to be bringing today so what i'm excited for about this is that we actually have upgraded technology in our chain burn strategy and we'll talk about that here momentarily so let's quickly do what's the, the new card, card? we got bad luck Vader, blast card card our one balance golem. chain strike still a two we have one day of peace triple duality and gaga got green. cowboy and the traps because there's a lot of them we have triple fortune one balance of judgment this is a card that reads if your opponent controls more cards than the combined mm. number of cards in your hand and that you control draw cards equal to their surplus so ideally we expend all of our resources then balance of judgment when gauge has a full board we draw like six cards and then we can still draw for turn if we do that like in the end phase or something so that's pretty sick and i want to give this card a shot we also have double ceasefire because this card's at two during this time which is quite nice triple dimension wall double jar double trio triple reckless greed triple secret barrel triple secret blast talk about new technology this card is similar to secret barrel in that it does Except 300 damage to your opponent ass. only for each card they control not in your hand like secret barrel but the trade-off is if this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to your graveyard inflict 1000 <clears> damage to your opponent and yes if the opponent does target this and you chain it it gets both effects which is just mm. nasty this was one of the issues with this deck because without just desert it's sometimes difficult to like really hit the threshold to win but now that we have more technology in order to allow us to achieve that win condition it's going to be even why are you easier. calling then, of course, it technology we roar and waboku to round out our main deck the side deck's just a second lava golem in case he has a very monster heavy deck we have triple swift scarecrow in case we need more defense double dark hole in case he's super aggro triple mst we're not playing twin twister right. i just want mst because it's good chainable one for one depending on if he has weird stuff that we need to interact with triple poison in case we need more stuff to damage him but there's the no there's no way that he's explaining this come on hell heavy can't wait so ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel oh well, 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 Gage. Uh, another set come and gone. Wing Raiders. Actually, a two X. I'll side. meet you halfway. Know, Let's do one five. It, unfortunately, how you feeling? Uh, good. I actually didn't open a whole lot of this set when it was around, but I definitely remember it coming out. I remember one of the cards. A lot of the cards <sighs> in this set actually now with the new Raid Raptors that got announced. Everybody really, really wants their hands on them. I noticed four Shrieks. That's uh, that's a couple of the balloons, bro. Yeah, it is. And uh, the deck's probably still gonna suck because I feel like this is like Batman Boxer, where it's like, oh, new support gets announced. Everyone thinks the deck is gonna be tier zero, and then it just falls short time and time again. But there are some good cards. Like obviously, four Shrieks hasn't necessarily. It's been good for Raid Raptor, but like. Oh it's been better in other decks that have been competitive. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I remember searching uh, Black Wing Zephyros off that thing. And I was like, yep. oh, that's the best card I can get. That's crazy. Later on, we get to like Wise Strix. We see some shenanigans with that, but that's not so way later until we get to Lynx. But there's some like okay cards, but there's also just some decent stuff too. Like we have yeah, the Super Quant stuff is in here. Like during this time, it was like PK Monarch uh, Cosmo format. I think we're looking at this work. So there was, like, some <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it was definitely an interesting set. I'm excited to see if you played anything from it. I am interested to see that as well. And we'll find out right about now. Let's shout the patron. It is Spatula. Thank you for the support. Just they just don't <laughs> worry. Just Spatula. All right, buddy. Okay. See what you got. Ooh. Let's go. Don't like to see what that. Kind of, All right. What kind of spatula do you think that guy is? What was the Krabby Patty flipper in the SpongeBob episode? The, the episode one? Oh, my God. The one with, with port and starboard attachments? With I know three heads, yeah. turbo drive, and everything like that? <laughs> the turbo All right, drive, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going to go first, obviously. Seems like the best play. Of course. Uh, good luck, the list, right, okay? Luck, buddy. Yep. I actually have a spatula. I'm going to be giving him cook, some like, turbo heads. Things. We call oh, the, what a the fucking spatula. This looks yeah. so good. It's great for flipping pancakes because it has a wider, like, bit. anyway. <laughs> Wait, this sucks ass, <laughs> right, actually. Oh, his sixth start. card Let's could save take it. Take it slow. I'm going to start with Pot of Duality. It might give you a little peek into <clears> what my strategy is today. Ooh, okay. All right, top three cards. Ooh. Oh, I mean, well, we know which one you're Yeah, it's the best choice, bro, because it could be anything else. I will take that Pot of Greed. Yep. This is going so slow for me today. I'm going to put the other two cards back to deck. Of course. Hopefully you just drop both of them. That would be the best case scenario. <laughs> I'll just use it right away here. What do we got? Yeah, that's fine. From there, I am going to set one, two, and I'm going to pass my turn. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. You are kicking it slow. All right, I'll draw. Uh, let's go standby. Sure. Yeah, how do we play this so hand? Much. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, mimic here. So we're going to set one. We're going to set two. And uh, we're going to set a few more while we're at it as well. Go ahead. Come on, man. <laughs> no, no you, you can't decide <laughs> to do the same thing I'm doing every week. Stop copying my homework. What, what do I got, bro? I'm going to draw. Standby, main phase. You're good. All right, bro. Five back row. I guess I got to figure out what you're on at some point. Uh, I'm going to reveal my strategy. I will normal summon the barrier statue of the storm winds. Oh, my God. What kind of bullshit is it, this? It's yeah, exactly sure. that, bro. It's some bullshit. So, <laughs> all right. I got the, the statue of storm winds. Uh, I'm going to go to the battle phase. I'm going to declare an attack for a thousand. This is a thousand? Yeah, I'll take a thousand. That's all right, cool. I'll you know, we probably want to wall here. I guess I don't here. feel nearly as scared doing we all this. We can wall <laughs> like, and then, like, drop yeah, all right, that's it. I'm I guess he's going to set two, right, so we probably want uh, that to Standby main. Shit. Yo. Go ahead. Oh, it's coming down to this. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. Battle. I'll just go a thousand again. Uh, yeah. Yo, we, no, we, no, 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 no. You do it here. I'll add another face down and I'll pass the turn. This is the thrilling gameplay I'm sure everyone oh, wanted to see. Fuck uh, me, we'll go dude. I'm going to come. Well, Gage, I suppose it's time I reveal what I'm up to. 
So Wait, what is he doing? I'm activate secret blast. Oh, okay. Wait, what I is mean, he of course actually, he would do something he like this. I'd expect nothing less <laughs> from you. You're saying that as the fucking barrier stun player, okay? <laughs> hey, all right. I, at I least guess barrier stun attack. Yeah, take your 1800 damage. We have new technology. Dude, do, do you have any chains? He's saying it again. What the? Bro, this secret barrel's about to fucking hurt. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of which, I'll set a card. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll draw. Stand by. I'll raise your fucking statue. Yeah, go ahead. Main. Okay. I will go battle phase, and I'll declare another attack with Stormwinds. God. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna dimension wall this shit. Um. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll forbidden lance my own card. Ooh. Lance your own card, so that way, I take the dimension this. wall. Is that how this works? Yeah. I. This doesn't like target the monster or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'm just trying to take less damage back. Do we need to double check to make sure? It's 200 damage, man. I, <laughs> I mean, it's not like another machine it duplication stuff. forbidden lance scenario let's here, check, okay? Let's check dimension wall. <laughs> I think it is affecting the player, so you're probably correct. We'll go chain link three, secret barrel. Do you have any response? No. Chain link four, accumulated fortune. Okay. And then chain link five, chain strike. Yeah, th this is all fine. Okay, so you're going to take 2,000 from chain strike. Okay. You're going to take five, six, seven, eight, nine times two, 1,800 from secret barrel. I draw two, and then Dimension Wall deals 200 damage to you. Uh, All right. That's so <laughs> Awesome. Annoying. I'm feeling great. Main phase two. Uh, I'll set a card, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Sure. I'll draw. Stand by main. This may shock you where this is about to go. I'm going to set plenty of cards and pass the turn. Draw. Do you have the, the means to just finish set me off? Balance. Potentially. Okay. Would you like to declare an attack? Yeah. I, if you got I'm not, this, Yeah, this isn't going to I'll Dimension good. Wall. I'll Lance again. You're going to Lance again? Okay. Uh, We'll go... So you're going to take 200, so you'll be down to 2,000. We'll go chain three secret barrel. Okay. All right. And how much? Chain four secret blast. That'll be game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <let's> <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I was like, please get me out of here. <laughs> that was like really, what do you want me to say about this? <laughs> Dude, you said it off camera, but like you said, I think I'm favored. I think I'm favored. Yeah. You think so, bro? My, my deck is supposed to prevent you from playing your cards, but I, I don't know if you noticed, I prevented you from playing nothing, bro. You could do everything. <laughs> so I think I'm going to lose this game, but I'm going to try my best. So... I've learned from Joe Orlando that letting you go first is probably still right. Is that, is that good? I, I'm playing the shitty deck too. I don't know, man. That was in like 2006. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair. I don't know if the theory changed uh, I, I over think nine I'm, years of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll go. Dog, they're out here being like, mm, according to Joji Orlando's theory video, uh, I am meant to let you go first, first bro, in the we'll stupidest see. mirror of all time. <laughs> we'll see how this goes today, okay? I can just hear how discouraged you are. <laughs> I'm definitely right, <sighs> Let's see. Stand by me. So okay, bad. and not that it did a whole hell of a lot last time, but I will, <laughs> I, I will, uh, I'm going to set a monster. And I'm gonna set two spells of trash. Yeah. I'm gonna pass turn. Go ahead. Yeah, let's go. Uh, draw a standby main. I have sure. Yeah, that's fine. They're all okay. Oh, Jar is insane here. Ceasefire is good too. Duality. I really hate when that's the best move. <laughs> what? Yeah, you you don't duality. think you'll be getting oh, several more turns in this game? What? Bro? Like, what is? Well, I mean, he is he is assaulting that thing. What, you, that. you don't think you'll? Well, watch it. Watch him with the microphone. You go. Be getting several more turns in this game, bro. Oh my god, get <laughs> well, a I new mean, microphone stand. Yeah, you would be both, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna set the All pass. right, Go I'm ahead. gonna end phase activate twin twisters. Ooh, okay, uh, all right. I'm going to pitch my barrier statue of the drought. Uh, the stop your card card D for me. <laughs> all right, we're gonna pop these two. Kind of relevant. These two, sure. It's reckless. Oh, those are two bangers, uh, actually. Uh, hold up. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, this will be wait. Is that an act fortune set? Hold up. Blowing up my own yeah, monster. Oh right. my god, but he's goaded? That's the plan. At least, that's so the that's plan. Good. At least gets like big. Wait, cards he's goaded? Uh, I'm gonna give myself a Jizakiru. Yep. And my gift to you will be the Sea Turtle Kaiju. How nice. Yeah, you're very welcome, my man. I'm gonna go battle phase. They must attack, so. They must attack, so I will take 11 okay. here. Sweet. Okay. I'm confident. Big guy versus chain burn deck. I like it. I'll set one card. I'll end my turn. I think it's a bit better than just hitting me with a barrier set. <laughs> Fuck yeah. me. Uh, yeah. You know I have this. We're gonna do okay, this. Okay. Uh, three uh, kind of stinkers. Uh, gonna take, we. Gonna take the uh, I guess. I mean, that's take, very telling. To I don't know. We could take chain strike. I mean, thirty-three hundred is not a thousand per turn, Gage. There's a there's a big difference between that. So we're gonna we're gonna set some guys down here, and we're just gonna right. go back. Stay Why didn't me. we uh, um, side out Ojometry versus BSS? No that's idea. Cards, I swear. Um, we're gonna banish that to pick up another kaiju from deck. I'll pick up the the humongous kumongus, the sticky string kaiju. Come um, among us, the sticky right kaiju. Just Thin out the deck, if you will. I'm going to normal summon the barrier statue of Torrent. Sure. I'll go battle phase. <laughs> <Foul>. <laughs> nice nice uh, fucking yeah, Ojama okay. trio. <laughs> keeping the threatening war. Wait, he can't even summon day. Battle uh, Vader. Oh my god, we lose. Uh, we literally lose. Out card card. <laughs> oh, my favorite rock monster. Let's go. Yep, yeah. favorite rock monster. Uh, may I use the effect? You may, yeah. All right, uh, I will go to end phase and I'll draw two. Okay. We, we win. We win here. I'm going to normal summon Thunder King Ryo. Oh my god, just all <laughs> Jesus the Christ. Uh, battle phase. Do you have the threat anymore? Yeah, you know do, about you, this. Eventually, you're going to have to use that. Um, I'll just pass turn there. Yep. <laughs> what is this? Uh, his <laughs> microphone again. Yeah, Cage is getting 2 0 by his mic stand. Look at that. Me. Look at uh, this. We are just going to. Oh, this is scary, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'll set two and pass. Okay. Stand by me. Yep. Battle. Sure. Battle. I will. I'm ready for it, Alex. I'm ready for anything except Mirror Force. I wouldn't be ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd be kind of stunned about that one. I'm just going to Wobo. Okay, sure. 
pesky Waboku. Don't worry. Just like you say, man. I'll see you next time. <laughs> the next turn's right around the corner. I'll set a card and pass. Okay. Um, I will draw. I you got oh, it. We lose. God. The Jizakira beat down. Let's go. The Jizakira beat. That was actually not the thing that actually. I, uh, I'll tell you later. But man, that oh, that game. I'm gonna be thinking I about that. that, that I need that. <laughs> Are we boarding out of Ojama Trio for game three? Do you think? Do you or do you think it's still good so to many keep it in? There so things that went wrong that game. I can't even really summarize it in like. All right. Uh, uh, Simo's winning this. There's just no fucking like shot that he possibly loses. Now I'm in the position where I have to decide. I do like getting my extra card, but I also like you not being able to set up. So I think probably going first is correct. But we'll see if that. I mean, but he's trying. He is trying. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's a hand. Yeah. Best, so. yeah. <laughs> no, you got the fifth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'll draw for turn. Stand by me. Okay. I'll start with Pot of Duality. Okay. I'm going to reveal three. I see the a monster. barrier statue. Yep. I'm going to pick that boy up. Sure. All right. Shuffle you up here. All right. Uh, Normal summon. Summon is fine. Thousand. I'll take a thousand. That's fine. Awesome. Phase two. I'll set three of my own, and I will go to the end. Turn. Riveting gameplay we've got yep. going on here. All right. I'll draw. Uh, Stand by main. Oh. I think I just am pass here. just chill. Go ahead. Phew. All right. I'll draw. Stand by me. I'll summon the barrier statue of the drought. Yeah, they're all coming out. Oh, yeah. I knew I knew you were already struggling not being able to special summon wind monsters. Yeah, precisely. Now, yeah. <laughs> now you can't summon that either. You have to have earths or winds. All right, we'll go 2,000 this time. Surely you have something this time. Might have something this time. Let me think. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll dimension wall one of these bad boys if you don't mind. I do not mind. Uh, I will take the 1,000, I think. And then I'll take 1,000 from the other. Okay, good deal. I'll just pass. Go ahead. End phase. We're going to reckless. Okay. Well, why are we doing them now? Okay. Draw for we'll draw turn. For we'll skip our draw here. Okay. Oh we'll no! Draw two more, you know <laughs> yeah, because he's the, the greatest the game's ever seen. Oh my and fucking then, god! Uh, chat number. Alright, we, 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 we lose. We lose. Some guys staring us down. Let's go. Oh, how do we want to do this? Uh, nice trio. Go. Wait, <laughs> trio made it in again. Two, Why are we setting trio? We can never activate it. Okay, during the end phase. Figured we'd see some twin twists. Yeah, let's hope on. this snipe is good here. I'm gonna pitch the gamma seal. We're gonna pop this one. This was one of the fresh ones, right? Yep. Okay, that one, and then we'll do the one closest to death. Okay. We're wait. Going. Beautiful. Well, I mean, the, wait, the trio that trio got value. Uh, draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. Look at this man. <laughs> the trifecta. <laughs> the gang's all here. Let's go. Hey, the Ojama trio would have stopped this it guy. Was, I'm just saying. I mean, what attribute are those there? Oh, you, you, no, you couldn't oh, summon them. that's true. Them. Yeah, I couldn't summon them anyway. Oh, they both figured right. out how it okay. worked. Yep. 3,000. 3,000 big ones. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, my God. I would just uh, pass. It's your second <laughs> turn on Reckless. This is my second turn on Reckless. So next turn, I am able uh, to. Do we one day that, here? Is that what we've been doing this whole time? <laughs> really? We're going to really? one day of peace. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. We just draw. Okay, damage, we lose. And then I am going to set. Thank God we lose. Sure. Draw. Stand my main. I'm gonna set. Remember, no damage yeah, this yeah, turn. Yeah, one, two. Uh, power move. I'm gonna attack you for a thousand. <laughs> you're gonna attack anyway. Yeah, you can't attack. Yeah. I just don't take it. So damage. threatening, bro. I, I know you're quaking. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll <laughs> quaking pass in there. my best. Sure. Uh, okay. So I can now draw, and one day of peace has expired. We have a little <laughs> good, good draws. Survive. Good draws. <laughs> Survive the the three statues here. Got a nice museum. I'm looking at. <laughs> How, are <laughs> yeah, we right. dead yet? <laughs> we we gotta pass. be close. Okay. I'll draw. Stand my main. Yep. I don't expect to, to clear a battle phase here, so I'll try for one thousand. Do you have T roar? I do. Okay. Thought so. Um, that's gonna be fine. All right. Chain link two. Oh, okay. Sure. What you got? Uh, we're gonna go secret barrel chain link two. Okay. Anything. No. Secret blast chain link three. Let me read this guy again. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go accumulated chain four. Sure. And then chain strike chain five. This is a lot, but I'm pretty sure I'm still chilling. I think you're. I think you're okay. It just so you're alive. Time. He's yeah, just gonna draw up to okay. four. Just so, double checking real quick. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, this is fine. Okay, we'll do so this. You one. take two thousand from chain strike. <laughs> Uh, I draw two from accumulated. You're gonna take four, seven, eight, nine, eighteen hundred from secret barrel, and then three times seven, twenty-one from secret. Oh my blast. god, we're so. Secret blast is a lot. It's dude. over, man. Secret it's blast. so fucking over. <laughs> he just needs any right, burn um, spell. I'm gonna go to main phase two since I don't have a battle phase. I'm gonna set one card and I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna draw. That yeah, that does not okay. do it actually. Yeah, we get. Cool. You get to Ooh, see. Oh, I bet we're getting card. secret barrel. Secret, secret. No. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> didn't want you to know that we had that, sadly. The Balance of Judgment. This card fucks, bro. This card's sick. This is like, I remember when they first printed this card. I'm like, this is like the best chain burn card they've ever yeah. printed. And yep. here we are. Here we are. Unfortunately, it might be a little bit too late to fire it. I think the easy call here is just to take Secret Barrel. And hopefully yeah, kill kills him. him. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Shuffle up. Uh, we got a Twin Twister back there. This might be what it comes down to. So we're going to set one, two, three, four, and then normal card car. Yeah, that's fine. Card car effect? Yep. All right. Let's You're see. right, Alex. It's going to come down <laughs> to the 50. <laughs> Fuck. No, not like this. Oh. <laughs> Don't put me through this. Come on. I got to assume all these are real because one real card could lose me the game. Pitching my bottomless trap while doing so much in this matchup. Why? Why are we even playing this post board? <laughs> Where do, where do I think you would put this, bro? I, I don't know if you've seen, but I've been playing in uh, DZ's Master Saga with Farmer uh -huh. for a bit, and he always says that good players or bad play any player. He says they always put their best card in the middle. And Alex, I don't know if it would surprise you, but every time you said that, I put my best card in the middle. So <laughs> I'm wondering if you're any better. You could go. He's much. He's he's much better.
He's got that. He's got that Kalut difference. Go for it. I'll let you know. I literally, after my hand shuffled after the duality, I just set them wherever they were in my hand. Oh, I you just kind of pressed it. I'm okay. pretty I'm... sure I did not set them with any order. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm out of principle. I'm gonna target the middle one. Okay. And okay, this other one, bro. You can... No, come on. Just roll a die. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. For the other one, I'll roll. We'll go one through four. Okay. So these two, then these two back to back. You hit the no! jar. I'm not, I'm not excited. Wait, about yes! Oh, this is wait, wait, hold yes! on. Yes! Okay, oh, wait, you're out of barrels. But this is where the blast gets flipped up. And uh -huh. It doesn't matter. Oh no! Maybe. Don't say uh huh. It's not like that. No. <laughs> Draw. Stand by. This isn't cool. That, now this isn't cool if you have it. Main phase. Okay. <laughs> would I sandbag you, buddy? I would never <laughs> yes. You yes. go for it. Go right, for it. Uh, you win. We're gonna go battle phase. Wait, he doesn't I win. I got to finish this up, bro. Thousand. You're gonna dimension wall. Oh my god, I'm still in this. I. Uh, okay, wait. <laughs> I mean, we have I to take you? it. We hold on, hold on. Oh, this isn't gonna work. I guess I'm going to chain Forbidden Lands. Just so you take less, honestly. Yeah, that makes sense. yeah. That does. So that doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, the fucking. Oh wait, we can cowboy. Sucks, bro. I don't... No, we can't cowboy because Helps they're uh, they so prevent you from summoning. Okay. Thousand. Take the thousand. Thousand. Take the thousand. <sighs> Man. <laughs> uh, this sucks, dude. No way. Um, I guess I have to pass. All right, be gentle. A draw. Stand by me. Card, card, I'm not winning this game. Yeah, that's fine. I'll activate Jar. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna set four. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Stand by main. Yep. We just gotta Maybe hope even one another is dimension does it for me, bro. I'm gonna go battle phase. <laughs> just show me you got it. You got another lance? I don't have another lance for this one. No. no! What's, the of What's the rest of these? It actually wasn't gonna kill you. It was two roars and an accumulator. Uh, so yeah, yeah. As if I wanted to play. You. As if I wanted to play through all that, anyways, bro. <laughs> I'm just curious. No! Oh, chain strike was the next. So that, actually, that wouldn't have been enough. He should have. He should have roared because otherwise, Lance wins, that. right? Um, and then another accumulated. So yeah, it was. It was oh really close God. at the end. There. Holy shit! That twin twister almost won you the game. That's wild. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think about it, and maybe like I had this wings face down the whole time, mm -hmm. and I was like saving it in anticipation of like doing something, like popping something else with it, not or like I'm um, protecting it from something, but like not like you would destroy it. I think. I we just sat on wings for no reason. I should have maybe flipped it to like accelerate the clock a little bit. Yeah, because looking at that, no, thousand, probably like, not. Yeah, those, those little five hundreds could have mattered, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, dude, I don't know, man. This matchup, like, I didn't expect to win as soon <laughs> what as. What a cool it. pack! That was like a really cool pack. I'm glad we did that one. Uh, let's see what the comment. I feel like we may get some illuminating comments on this one. The comments on this one, I think, maybe they may be pretty peak. They owe America an apology. I've been saying this. We haven't gotten one yet. There are no protagonists. It's a duel between two villains this week. Coughing Baby versus Coughing Baby. One of the regressions of all time. You know when Gage's deck profile, I was like, well, Simo has one deck this doesn't do much to. And well, he played that deck. Gage and Simo competing to see who is going to compete the bigger war crime. Where was the 500 IQ play? That was 500 IQ. What's the 500? <laughs> it is endearing to see how they have synchronized the days they want to turn their brains off. MBT is going to get a lot of mileage out of Simo's Fatula. I completely missed the Fatula. Was he talking about SpongeBob? Locking Alex out of the game will be Moon Mirror Shield. Moon Mirror Shield's an equipped spell card that reads when it battles an opponent's monster during game. All right, I the start of game one. <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going to go first, obviously. Seems like the best play. Of course. Uh, good luck to us, right, okay? Luck, buddy. Yep. I actually have a spatula that we use to cook, like, large things. We call it the fatula. The, the fatula. <laughs> a spatula we use to cook large things. We call it the fatula. Great. <laughs> Battle of the malicious intent. Remember when BA, Necroz, and Shadow were viable? I wonder what the Raid Raptor call sounds like. <laughs> for those of you crying, why didn't Gage go for Cowboy in Game 3? Oh, come on. How do you people not know this? Oh, that was boy. Oh boy. Do I feel the progression in this one? Oh, yeah, that, uh, that was rough. Today's episode. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. This week I put the same effort into making a meme as the combined effort Gage and Simo put into their decks. <laughs> I'm sorry. My Twitter thread pitch last week was a dud. Which two characters actors should do a live duel? I don't know if I can do a thread. Uh, unfortunately, I already have a thread picked. I will bookmark this one. 
for the future. Last week, Gage rerolls CDI, says he can't summon it. Pulls this week. No! Gage beat off. C Whoa! Hello? Blood thinks she part of the team. <laughs> Stupid. Insert joke here. Got done checking out the Eclipse in time for Prague. Anybody notice this weird spot in the whole video? Any wonder people are afraid of technology. Technology! Oh so is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? <laughs> technology! Oh <laughs> Who's ready for Mindmaster FDK next week? I was ready for it this week! I'm in Spain, but the S, A, and the N are silent, and the P is pronounced as your mom! Stun? Yeah, I'm fucking stunned. Stun the gauge thought that would work. And Simo's deck, what a pile of shit. Not just a normal shit, a chain burning shit. Pouring out a lava golem's anus. I really do wish I were dead after watching that dookie duel. Like, what were they thinking? That's very true. It's literally true. <laughs> gauge with his mic. <laughs> 50 chain links. That's, that's oh, fuck. Come on, man. <laughs> Whoever wins, we lose. Yep. Mm -hmm. Proggers. I don't know what this one is. No memes. That shit was evil. Ban the ban. Can't even play the game decks. Engaging prog decks. Simo makes worst deck ever. Asked to leave progression series. <laughs> he changed Justin Bieber's tattoo to say chaos. You got to <laughs> He's got fucking BLS. Holy. Okay. Scarlon. Ready? One, two, three, no Scarlon. She's washed. Mm. Let's see if we can get a, uh, let's see if we can get Nim Nim in here. We never get Gage these days. He's a busy boy. Another thing I want you to pay attention to and look for here is ba -ba -ba something something technology. Keep an eye on that. They would say like two or three words and then add technology to the end. And it was supposed to be like, oh, wow, that's a, uh, like a scientist had to have come up with that. Another thing I want you to pay attention to and look for here. Wow. Germa watches Prague? That's crazy. <laughs> Stay out of my fucking beat, buddy. Stay out of my hood. Get off my streets. There's only room for one quirked up white boy watching Prague. <sighs> This one sucked. I ain't got nothing to say but that. This one was fucking ass, dude. This one was mega ass. This one was... This one was omega ass. One of the worst. One of the worst for sure. Good luck making it to... Uh, to add rev, Vlad. <laughs> Holy. Okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's die. Oh, I just want to really quick draw attention to two people who are beefing in chat. 
Meowmic says, do people still watch Germa? My whole hood watches Northern Lion. And uh, Demi Max Webspace says, YouTube Shorts Andes will watch Northern Lion for one week and be like, my whole hood watches Northern Lion. No reason to call that person out. They, to my understanding, they did nothing to hurt you. Uh, they they didn't say anything too ridiculous. You are completely correct. You did cook them, but I think at some point you have to you have to ask yourself why you're cooking. Are you cooking with hatred? Are you cooking because you don't want to DoorDash, or are are you cooking with loving intent? Are you cooking to feed and to give and to experience the joy of creation? I think you need to you need to step back and have a good conversation with yourself about why you're in the kitchen. That said, I will be enjoying the meal. I will be scarfing it down. <sighs> now you're pretending to be Northern Lion. <laughs> In, in what way? This is a Northern Lion bit. Maybe I've been watching too many YouTube shorts. That's what they keep. That's what my hood keeps telling me. My hood keeps telling me you got to get on NL. <laughs> Woo! You know, I got to say, I like Northern Lion the first couple of days I was watching him, but now I've decided I hate him. Now I don't like him. Why? Every so often the algorithm decides that it's time for Joseph to get into a particular streamer and I resist it with every fiber of my being. I don't understand why, but all my feed is now like Northern Lion gives his opinion on farming equipment. And he'll be like, oh, John Deere is a crock of shit. You got to go with the DGL line of uh, lifters and everyone in chat will be like plus two, plus two, plus two. Where's the lie? I'm not saying he's lying. I just feel like I don't need to know every single thing that pops into this guy's head. I, I feel like every every single thing that he says doesn't need to be cataloged and then delivered exactly to me. You can keep it in a library somewhere, but I don't need to know it. I'd like to live my life in ignorant bliss. That's the point of streaming. Bro, you live in the library. Fuck you. MBT slams streamer culture. Very true. What is streamer culture? What is streamer culture? Pedophilia? <laughs> no, streamer culture is like being... What, what, is the, what is the thing that all streamers agree on that no normal person agrees on? It's got to be harder than your 9 to 5, right? Hard work, yeah. Doug says hard work, yeah. I agree. Turn MBT clips into the librarian channel? What do you mean by that? Oh, is this the... Do you not know? He doesn't know? Librarian is Northern Lions Clipper. Well, see, the problem is that I don't have someone who is such a dedicated viewer of mine that they can do that. And that's because my streams are less good. Do you understand? Because I, like, li listen, okay? CJ, you have linked me a 5-hour, 12-minute, and 50-second timestamp in a 7-hour, 14-minute, and 27-second video. I, c I clearly can't watch this on stream. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do with this? I didn't mean to timestamp it. Oh, well, let me go back to the beginning and we'll just watch it all together. Anyway. Great. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. This is how I get all my streamer news. P. Diddy. I'm sure most of you know that name. <laughs> I have now absorbed another streamer's video. Pray I do not absorb a further series of content masterpieces. <clears throat> I, I love this channel because the number one thing I like doing 
is clicking their am I leaving YouTube recaps because almost everyone is am I leaving YouTube boom no <laughs> it keeps going uh. Mm. thank you so much sir <clears throat> the problem, and I think the thing, the reason why people are being drawn to Northern Lion um, is that streamers in general are just, they're, they're just out of their fucking gourds, man. We've given them too much leeway. They've reproduced at an unbelievable rate. There's a new SMP member born every 30 minutes in some parts of the nation. And Northern Lion is the only streamer who you can imagine at one point being employed. Uh, you, you could be, oh, like, that guy was probably, like, you know, like, a middle manager at some point. He was probably, like, a grade school teacher at some point, you know? He used to be a teacher. I got it in one, in two. <clears throat> he was teaching children in Korea. Oh. aware no I, <laughs> you all know the type of person who's like i'm going to korea to s teach english you you all know the type of person c jellic says he has a fake job of two yeah, yeah exactly yeah 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 but at least you know it was it was employment at some point right and that that's much more than i think probably any other streamer can can cap to i don't know Do you need me to do this challenger cup thing? I'm I'm I'll do it. I'll do it. Go to bed. Is this a trope in the United States? Yes. Yes, you've never heard of white guy goes to Asian country to teach students English? You've never heard this? There's no way you're all typing no. You've never heard this? It's a big enough phenomenon they have a slur for the type of person who does this in many nations. You, you're kidding me. You're beefing with one person in particular? I'm not. I'm literally not. Say it. I'm not going to say it. Make up a guy. No, sorry. If you people lack the life experience to be familiar with this type of person, that's on you. It's not on me. It's on you. You're, 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 you're frustrated with me for knowing something that you don't. That's fine. You can't all have the life experiences that normal people have. You're here on Twitch. I understand that. You probably spend a lot of your formative years watching stupid fucking streamers pretend to play Yu-Gi-Oh for two or three hours a day rather than, uh, than, than learning about the people around you. That's fine. That's, that's your problem. That's not mine. Say the slur. Now you're all fixated on the slur. You want to hear the slur. All right. Um, okay. <clears throat> it's not like a slur slur. What am I supposed to say? It, it, it's in Chinese. What do you want me to say? I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to say it. It's in Chinese, but it roughly translates to, to LBH, which stands for loser back home. When you see like a white guy teaching English in an East Asian country or uh, a Southeast Asian country, you go, oh, he's an LBH. I've never heard of that. Dyer, you live in America. That's so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we are. Americans are not at the forefront of bullying like we've been led to expect. Led to believe. We, we are. It is very easy for us to get absolutely owned by non-Americans.
Europe is the forefront of bullying? Hardly. <laughs> Europe the forefront of bullying? They lost their empire to America. And America isn't the forefront of bullying. What do you expect? <laughs> EU's free, man. They don't even have YCSs. <laughs> Ugh. We invented racism and we perfected it, all right? You know? And then we exported it and other nations are better at it than we are. We have to remain competitive in this new racist economy. We need to start importing racists. <sighs> America is facing a racism crisis. We're going <laughs> to... You know, do you remember after World War II when we imported all those Nazis in to work on NASA? They actually weren't working on space travel. We just needed to remain competitive in a post-World War II racism landscape. And they, they had shit we'd never heard of. We were like, oh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, for sure. Holy, you, you're kidding me. That's unbelievable. Yes, yes, separate but equal. I'm writing, I'm writing. <laughs> okay. uh, we're way in the weeds on this one. You guys want to play Yu-Gi-Oh or what? <laughs> Fucking... Ugh. You're trying to get me to no-clip through the Yu-Gi-Oh portion of the stream and go straight to Bellatro. I see what's happening. I know what's going on here. You think you're going to trick me? You fool, I invented this technique. I utilize it against Danny. One of the many <laughs> racist techniques I picked up at an EUYCS. <sighs> Important link before this topic. These are the most racist countries in the world. Oh, Dyer, thank you for this. All right, chat, vote on your phones. What's the most racist country in the world? Ready? Here we go. According to surveys conducted by the Washington Post and Business Tech. <laughs> the Washington Post survey was also called the application for the Washington Post. All right, here we go. Ready? In which 85,000 people from 61 different countries were asked about their experiences. A lot of this is because of high levels of homogeneity, so make sure you remain respectful and not cast assumptions about people just what the fuck does that mean? High levels of homogeneity? Oh, he's saying there's no race mixing in some of these countries. So they don't know what a black person looks like? No. It, if, you're, if you're racist against someone you've never seen, you're still racist. That counts. Just because of their country. So South Korea? South Korea is number 10. God, we better beat South Korea. I'm going to be so fucking mad if we don't beat South Korea. South Africa? Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Pretty big jump there. And uh, coming in under uh, South Korea is the state that did apartheid. Uh, that's number nine, by the way. Here we go. Palestine. Palestine! Well, it was a Washington Post survey. <laughs> Holy. Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> Kuwait. Kuwait really nothing to say about that unfortunately i don't have a good riff on kuwait philippines i think we might not be on this fucking hell oh that's gonna be really depressing if we don't make top 10 what happened to this once great nation egypt okay egypt is insanely racist yeah libya oh come on please come on please bahrain oh my god there's no way we're in top three we're not beating these fucking nations oh my god lebanon Lebanon number two. Lebanon number two. Uh, that's actually probably true. I know a lot of Lebanese people and um, all of their parents are racist in ways you couldn't imagine. They're racist against things that I didn't know were races. They're like, you got to watch out for the, um, the Orgestanis. You know, they hide their third eye under their, their furrowed brow. And I go, I don't think that's a country. They're like, it was back in the old days. What do you think number one is? It's got to be us, right? Come on. Please. And India. Okay, they've earned it. They earned it. They earned it. They they have a caste system. What do you, what do you want? That Yeah, that makes sense. Fuck. That's unfortunate. We didn't even make the top ten. So what do you guys think? What I think is, where's the full study? Most racist countries. Where are we? 
U.S. News and World Report. Here we go. Sri Lanka. What? Wh where are we? United. Oh my fucking god, we didn't make the top ten. Serbia, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Israel, Myanmar, UAE, Russia, El Salvador, Sri Lanka. Fuck off. We're trying out here, okay? <clears throat> We're washed, man. We're washed. <laughs> okay. So, what do you guys want to play? I know what you want to play. It's got to be Unchained, right? You want to see... Uh, you want to see Unchained? Or... Do you want to see some Stun 3? <laughs> We'll play we'll play one stun three and then we'll do unchained. How far are we from uh no, we're still pretty far back. Uh Master Ace is Tuesdays, yeah. Stop calling it that. You're right, you're right. It's not called that. It's called uh something else master of faster it's called faster race yeah the hand looks pretty fucking good right oh please maxi me please just shotgun the maxi I'm begging you 11 card extra no we have to lead uh, Ecclesia here Bullying a baby, indeed. You know, it's really fucked up. A couple of days ago, I was playing at uh, at Platinum 3, and I was playing against real people. Oh, wow, that's killer. All right, let's, uh, speaking of killer, let's kill her. Maybe we should have normaled Yogan and then just, like, set Solemn and Solemn to the normal, and then we don't have to worry about it. It's okay. Oh, this is kind of a problem. These are both spellcasters. Oh, this is going to do go pretty well. <laughs> I think we're uh, dead here, right? We were supposed to solemn that. We were supposed to solemn that, I think. What if we solemn this? I really found the four less extra deck cards in Snake Eye to be liberating. Exactly. Uh, yeah? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Oh, no! <laughs> We're cooked. We're so cooked. We're We're so cooked. Oh, wait, that's been special summoned, so we can Yogan it. Oh, they're going in. What do you mean, Teak Boo? This Ecclesia is not living the turn. <clears throat> The moment you normal, Flamberge is going to get your ass, is it? Oh, uh-oh. I need you to activate that now. Okay, thank you. Now we take boo. Hmm. <clears throat> Please activate Snake Eye Ash. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
What are they getting? Oak here? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> good luck, buddy. The less ashes I have to worry about, the better. I should have judgmented this fucking temple. Alright. Okay, one time extravagance. Three, two, one. Oh! I'm goaded with the sauce. I don't know what to tell you. I'm literally goaded with the sauce. Holy! I I just wanted it more. I don't know what to tell you. If I get ashed here, I do lose. So I, I just need to not get ashed here. Okay. It's over. It's literally over. It's literally over. Random! Why did I not know it was random? Why is it random? Like, ob like, why is it random? Hold up. What the fuck? Why is it random? Nice throw. I, I was about to say we're still going to win this, but we might actually lose now. Oh, thank you. One time Golgonda. One time Golgonda, please. One time Golgonda. I'm not going to get it. I, I, I already spent my call on that extra. Holy shit! <laughs> so I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm him. I'm him. I'm clearly him. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, uh, I'm literally buying a Powerball in the other in the other window. Ugh. Thanks for the sub, Doug. <laughs> Lisa Al Gaib, I can I can see the the top of the deck splayed out in front of me. This game's fun. Oh, they really wanted to give it to me. Now we're never getting there by attacking with the 200. Let's just chill. <laughs> you know, we actually probably should have played the gold Gonda so that they can't subversion us again. Because there's a scenario where they, like, get the, uh, the Witch Searcher and cycle the subversion and draw it eventually. But if I set this, I can't do anything else for the rest of the game. Under Necro Valley? Thanks, chat. <clears throat> what the fuck? <laughs> You know what's crazy? Watch this. Can you believe you get to do that? That's like insane, right? Why is that allowed? That's so nutty. Oh, there it is. It's strange. I maybe should have I maybe should have activated the other one for a scenario like this where they draw harpies plus another one. That's your only target to send? No, I got 15 cards in here. I got a lot left. Or maybe I banish them all off Xdrav, and that's my only target to send. Uh, hopefully they don't know it. <laughs> Ash him. Ash the Titanic lad. That's fine. Wincon here is to draw Fossil Dyna. Nope. This is boring. This is like so boring.
There are shields in here. Oh, hey, RJ. Are you enjoying this? set that song. Ah! <laughs> Did I get you, chat? Did I trick you? Oh, that's the end of the game. Do we want that? Yeah. Our goal is to draw Fossil Dyna. We are not trying to deck our opponent. They're already ahead of us on cards. Are we dead to Feather Duster? Well, it's at one, so probably not. There we go. That's a good card. Actually, is it? Uh, yes, because we can draw off of Garura. Unless they ash us here. That'd be annoying. Imperm Yogan? Wait, what the fuck? Why are they imperming Yogan now? <laughs> I'm confused. It's my turn. Not, not your turn. They stopped the teak boo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Normal Ecclesia. Huh? That's way better for us, though. It frees up a back row slot. I, I, I really appreciate that, to be honest. They cooked us just a little, just a little. Uh, I think I think we're good. We want to set a solemn strike. Probably not. We could set solemn strike. Nah, I'm good. Where are my fucking monsters? I, I am going to have to, at some point, deal lethal damage. Why couldn't we protect? Uh, we're out of fucking guys. That is an enormous issue. That is a monumental problem. That's so bad. Oh, <laughs> fuck. That's so bad. Holy shit. That's so bad. What the fuck? Should have set the Solemn. We'll be fine. Okay, let's not worry about that anymore. Did he not recycle subversion? He can't. I have Necro Valley up. <laughs> I like we popped birthing, not because it recurs, but because you can normal summon under it. Oh, oh! Damn, Commandant's a clock! Oh, we can't summon him. Why can't we summon Commandant? He's a spellcaster. Fuck me. Yeah. 
Yeah, go go do that. <laughs> you go do that. Uh, I need to keep the Nadir servant in hand in case I need removal. You know what's kind of weird is that they could have normaled like a snake eye at any time and challenged this board. I don't understand why they haven't. They have two ash, probably one. What the fuck? Oh my god, and I'm out of I'm out of fucking guys. We lose? No, we still win. Uh, they still can't beat Teekboo. Summon Dia Bellstar here. Oh, we have an immediate problem, don't we? Okay, I need them to not have a normal here. Why can you do that? Why are you allowed to do that? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man. If our fucking extra had worked different... Look at this! Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe we lost this. They dark hold into a Golgonda. Okay, I'm I'm not losing to that shit again. Hold up. This time for sure. I can't believe we lost that duel. I'm like, <laughs> I'm really mad about that. <laughs> They're making me go first. I'll do Unchained. We'll do Unchained after this one. That's <laughs> pretty good. Yogan. Now this is Yu-Gi-Oh. Watch, they're gonna like normal Snake Eye Ash and we're just gonna strike them. Why not summon Ecclesia? That's like an insanely good question. Why didn't we normal summon Ecclesia? That's like super important. Then we can contest the normal summon. This deck is very skillful, you understand. We're, we're losing because we're not as skilled as we need to be to play this deck.
You know what's hilarious is that we actually got saved by the fact that we did not. <laughs> Watch him grass. I would lose to grass. I mean, that's just the way it is. Grass and do what? You know, that's actually true. Hold up. I think we're fine. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, alright. Um... Can you ash this, please? Ash the draw one, maybe? <sighs> Holy. They're, they're thinking. Either they're thinking or they're in another tab writing a post on r slash master duel. They're like, they're either like thoughtfully stroking their beard or they're like, I want this guy dead. <laughs> Contacting a hitman on the deep web. You summon Dinah in case they have Imperm? Yeah. For sure. WTF game bug? Game bug? Two normals? Game bug? This is like super fun. <laughs> I'm starting to think the floodgates are actually not good. Like they're kind of counterintuitive. Like I think I would just rather be playing something else. Like ashes even. I have a charity tournament this weekend. I should show up with this deck. <laughs> Have you played the stun mirror yet? I have not yet encountered it. Oh, okay. Well, you're out of your fucking mind if you think you're going to be able to beat my wife. Wait, why are they doing this? Um, I'm going to do this just because I feel like they might have a removal spell. And they're trying to get the activation of Golgonda out. I got some. Maybe it just starts shooting for the back row. Oh, that's not the card I targeted. 
love new chatters coming to this. <laughs> it a, oh, you all were ragging on me for wanting to stop my opponent from special summoning. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> get the fucking card out of here. Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> Caught. Uh, one more, one more. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Ooh. We have Ash or something? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think we're well beyond that. You know what? I am so confident they don't have evenly. I'm just doing this. <laughs> I love Baguska's little noise. Let's get this little noise. Do the noise. No, not that noise. The other noise. Not that noise either. You got noises. You got noises for days. <laughs> this is fine. I don't fucking. What do I care? Go get go get branded Bumbless. Go get branded Bunkulies. Oh, that's a really pretty card that you can't activate. What a beautiful card. <clears throat> Wait, I'm realizing we have a little bit of a problem here. Excellent allure. Fantastic allure of darkness. Hmm. We'll get him over two turns. What we're going to do is use Titanic Clad to get Ecclesia. Ecclesia to grab the third or another copy of uh, Punishment, then we'll Punishment him. Okay, I don't need the even lace. So that's pretty good. It's fucked up that they let you have three Ecclesias. Like, this is a... <laughs> this is this is a louver's worst nightmare. <laughs> the Legion of White Women is here to stop him from having sex with Albaz. <laughs> it says no. <laughs> Stay away from my boyfriend. Uh okay. That's fine. <sighs> Strike that. I thought about it. Oh! I guess I should have! I guess I should have! Uh, what do I give a fuck about if he grasses? There ain't nothing he's doing. That was a pretty good top deck, though. I'm not gonna lie. Serenir. Tragedy. Hmm, that's an interesting card that went from the deck to the graveyard. Hmm. Necro's doing a lot of work here, yeah. Um, yeah, why not? Fuck it. I learned my lesson. 
Get this bitch out of here. <laughs> you will not defeat Yogan. Oh, that, that card was not on. <laughs> that set card, by the way, is the branded fusion. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't want to play it out? You don't want to play it out? <laughs> All right, one more. One more with this deck. That will do Unchained. Going first, if you insist. If you insist, we will go first. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an interesting hand. Uh, it's all right. I think we go Yogan. We do die to fucking uh, imperm. I literally disconnected. Look at that. And ooh, let me think about this last play for about 286 seconds. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Good luck. All right, imperm or die. In your 40, 51 card deck. Oh, he drew. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I I was not expecting that. Um Uh I am striking this. <laughs> All right, let's draw a couple of cards here, baby. God, time tearing is so stupid. Oh! Interesting. Now I wish we had done the other thing because now if they ash us, I'm going to look like a, a country bumpkin. No, we're fine. Uh, we do not give a fuck about spirit gates, right? So let's just draw an additional card. Jesus Christ. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, I hope you're having a good day, Scorpion, wherever you are. I hope you're, like, hanging out, chilling on your Nintendo Switch and thinking, Yeah, I'm really glad I decided to devote my night to playing <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. <laughs> I'm really happy about my decisions that have led me to this point. I, uh, I think this has worked out really well for me. I appreciate where my life is at. They're just gonna normal and I'm gonna eat it with the fucking back row I searched. Awesome. Uh, you can banish this card. Oh, well, I don't really want them getting Fallen Paradise, so I think I will let that resolve. Yeah. 
Sorry, buddy. This, uh, this deck fucking kicks ass. <laughs> Branded. Oh, I, oh, I was never beating this. Look at this. They have fucking subversion Raigeki in here. <laughs> Holy shit. Two subversion Raigeki. Wait, what the fuck? They have this card, too. Oh, well, we were really dead. We were always dead. Oh. Double driver. You don't want to brick on one. <laughs> All right, let's make Unchained. We want Unchained. I'm getting a lot of booze. Do you guys really want Unchained? Please. Okay. Do you have enough dust? How much dust is it? Oh my god. Whoa. Why is this so expensive? What? What the fuck? It's so expensive. It's not. Oh, yeah. Wow. <sighs> I have the tour guides already. Oh, it's not that expensive compared to... Like, cash is expensive. Snake Eye is expensive. <sighs> Does Pack have a list out yet that I could uh, steal? Yukon or Purdue? Pack. Oh, he streamed. Pack's unchained deck list is the There's top. All right, let me get the subs. The top one of these is Pack's unchained deck list. Okay. Uh, we will be stealing that. Oh, when do I miss out on the alt arts of this shit? Because I will wail for that. Two days? <gasps> oh, no. Well, we can't have that. Hold up. Okay, fuck Unchained. We'll be back for Unchained. Right now, we gotta we gotta pull. How long do we have? 15? Oh, that sounds so bad. Two days. Oh my god. Uh, okay, what are we trying to get out of here? Feet Ash. Um. <gasps> oh, how long do we have on Gay Eldlich? Two days on Gay Eldlich. Holy shit. This is the only one I give a fuck about. I kind of want Feet Ash too because it has a different animation. All right, chat, don't look. Don't look. Don't you look. Don't come on. Don't you look. You have not played Eldritch in two years. Well, I don't. I didn't have gay Eldritch, so what did you want? I really don't have the money to be doing this either. It's really ruining my life. I'm lying, of course. I'm a millionaire. Okay, here we go. Gay Eldritch. Gay Eldritch. Gay Eldritch. Gay Eldritch. I'll open... Oh my god. This is straight Eldritch. No Gay Eldritch. Fuck. Okay. Gay Eldritch. Gay Eldritch. Gay Eldritch. Gay Eldritch. Looks better. Still no Gay Eldritch. What the fuck? That was even worse. That was eighty dollars. I do not have the mask alt heart, but I don't want it. The only one of these I want is Eldlich. Let's 
Oh my god. Hello? Also, I'm getting like no URs. Come on. Yes! Oh, thank god. Oh. And now I need one more. Nope. You need three? Oh, calm down there. I don't need three. <sighs> oh. I mean, that's very pretty. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. Okay, no one... Why do you need a second? Because the deck plays too. Here we go. Yes! Oh, okay. Whew. Now for Ash. I'm good. That took a lot out of me. I don't want to have to do that again. Uh, and it probably got me enough URs that I can disenchant. Like, I don't need this guy. I definitely don't need this guy. I don't need this guy. I don't need this guy. I don't need this guy at all. I don't need this guy. I don't need the extra Barky on. I don't know how I got him even. I don't need the lad. There, bada bing. Uh, what else is in this fucking deck? What do you think, Chad? Are we playing the dog? No. It's a rhetorical question. Oh, we already did that. Um, what's the fucking DDD guy name? DDD Dungulus Bung. Oh my god, we have a fucking royal. <laughs> well, I didn't know we had a fucking royal. I've. <laughs> Wave King High Caesar, as it was. Uh, they just play three gate, right? Wait, oh, there it is. Uh, and then what else is he playing? Feather Duster, I guess. Royal Feather Duster as well. That's not bad. Prosby. As a one of tactic. This is like the number one tactic stack. Yeah, unsurprisingly, we're playing three thrust. The greatest thrust deck in the history of time. Called by... And a crossy. Because we can't beat Maxi. Um, and then we're playing Zeus. Oh, we're playing two Caesar. Why are we doing that? Muckcracker. Do we miss out on alt unicorn? Two days as well. The unfortunate truth is that I don't want to spend more money. 
Like, I just, uh, I, I have a physical aversion to spending more money than I already did. Uh, Mackinac. What am I missing? Oh, nothing. That's 15. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, unfortunately, we are missing a good deal of... Oh, does he not have a pack? Oh my god, look how close we are. I need like a hundred gems. 67 gems for a dollar nineteen. We don't have enough money. We have ten cents in our Steam wallet. I'm not gonna fucking spend a dollar nineteen. Gift box? Gift box is nothing. Watch a duel live? That's like five gems. Rank up for a hundred? <laughs> Just rank up. <laughs> Banger hand, Oomphy. Wait, are we losing this? Hold up. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Holy shit. Okay, we win. Bistealed the lady. Did we have... Was it a quick effect? Okay, we definitely got something for that. Five. It was actually just five. No! No! Oh. I'm not playing three solo modes no i'm not doing that we'll come back tomorrow and we'll wrap up unchained I haven't special summoned a monster.
Nah. I'm calling it for tonight. Thank you all for sticking around. I really appreciate you. We're going to be back at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. We're going to be doing Season 2 of Master Roulette. We're going to be playing a little Master of Faster. And we will, of course, be doing new cards, Pog Champ, guest starring the new Ten Pie Dragon stuff that I know you all are very scared of. I'm scared of it, too. I'm excited to talk about why. If you like what you see, if you like watching me play 30 seconds of YouTube in a four-hour stream, I'd really appreciate a follow. It helps out the channel a great deal. We're trying to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year. It is, of course, only April, so it doesn't feel particularly... Uh, what's it called? I, I haven't put the fear of God in everyone. Um, but we are not on track... And I mostly blame you all for that. Uh, I assume that I could take a little bit of a, of a hint, but, uh, you know, if I had people skills, I wouldn't be a streamer for a living. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we'd like to cool around with a little bit of non-yuging. We'd like to finish our streams off with a little bit of variety. Today, we are going to be playing... Balatro. We're gonna play Balatro. I like playing Balatro. I don't know what to tell you. Get your LVK Balatros ready. Alright, we're gonna do this for about an hour and then we're gonna call it. So, I'm trying to get the red steak today because I don't have it yet and I want to unlock the remainder of the decks. Uh, so I feel like the easiest uh, deck is the checkered deck, so let's just do it. Chad, we like fleshes. We're flesh gaming. So someone explain something to me. I could just skip this one, right? I can always skip the small blind when I'm on a red stake. Shop has a rare joker. Yes, sir. Where's the music? There we go. How's that chat? A little loud or a little soft? Skipping blinds is not worth it even on red stake? How could that possibly be the case? I'm not asking, I'm not telling you you're wrong. I legitimately would like to know. Interest and money from hands. Well, how do you get money from hands? Jokers. Oh. Yeah, right. I want Acrobat too, but whatever. Uh, okay, let's... um. You want me to turn the CRT off? Yes, please. I didn't even know that was something you could do. Do you have contrast on? I don't. I know you all like contrast too. You don't like CRT? All right. This one's going to be kind of hard to get through. <laughs> What if we what if I meet you all halfway? We put on some of the CRT. Say 25. 25% CRT, that's gotta be okay. Alright, we made it. Alright, we gotta get something for the blueprint to actually, you know, capture. Ooh. Okay, so here's the question. 
Ooh, stray flush is big. Um, this or the buffoon pack? Eight dollars around. No, we we're gonna just die immediately if we don't get. Ugh. I guess we have to take a walkie. Sure. I'll take 10 bucks. <sighs> well, now I want to go hearts. Order? Oh, to the right. Oh, thank God. Whew. Good thing we figured that out. Alright, we're cracked. Uh, Blueprint. Very cool guy. Uh, don't like Merc. Do Celestial. I think Arcana probably at this, at this stage in the game. On the cover. Of course, no Jupiter. Uh, whatever. There is free money in the shop. I guess we re-roll here. Fuck off. One more time. Sure. Compatible. Where my tens at? Oh my god. Uh This may one shot. We should have discarded the five. Yeah, shit. That was bad. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doodles. Uh wow. That's insane too. I'm gonna buy both these guys. I want the two turrets. Oh, free money in the shop. Holy shit. Uh, okay. That didn't one shot? Fuck. Oh, wait, hold up. Nice. The sun. Oh, sun's crazy. Hold up. Let's go fishing for our other free card. Fix a BP? Oh, I see. You all are too concerned. We're fine. Strength of the nine? Oh, we should. Uh, I don't want either of these, but I would like to try the Spectral pack out. Ooh. Wow. Cryptid had... There was a real... Real good shot for the Cryptid. We really don't have a good Cryptid here. We can't Sigil. Uh... I really don't want any of these. I think I'm just skipping. Wait, hold up. Wait, I have a plan. Boom. <laughs> oh. How do we feel about this? Red seal stone card? It's kind of cute. We'll try it. Why not? 
Doesn't help with flushes. That's a good point. Why did I do that? Uh, extra large blind. That's fine. We're crazy. Uh, wow, we really do not need star here. We will get some money, though. Get me out of here. We're making money. We just... I. Jupiter. Fuck. Neptune's fine. Um... Free money? No. I didn't realize it would work like that. That was stupid. Well, if you insist, I will purchase the Droll Joker. Um, I think we can sell Certificate. I, I like Certificate, but... DNA. I'm just going to buy this. I feel like the boss blind has a chance of fucking us in the future. I, I feel fine about this one. Oops. Fucked that up. Oh, wait. We didn't have room. Whew, it was all part of the plan. Um, It's a bunch of tens and fours, to be honest. Jupiter. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's worth copying droll? No, probably not. This ought to do it. Yeah. Earth! Give me a fucking Jupiter! started zero. The goad. The goad is nothing to us, right? We don't have spades. Oh, we're gonna do it again? Justice is so good, though. Oh, chariot is insane. It's the most valuable two in the world. Um, What if we wheel, you know? What if we wheel? Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, we should have reordered. I'm getting... I'm so bad at that. Okay. Oh, it doesn't copy the foiling. That's pretty good. Uh...
This is like, okay, so, surely, surely. Oh my God, not a Jupiter. Oh, man, that's good. That's nice. Uh, um, I kind of like justice. Oh. No. Wow, really shitty jokers today. Wheel! Wait, we do have spade cards. What was I doing? Wait, why am I so stupid? All right, we just have to do that again. The chariot. Um, we win here. devil it's still debuffed right it won't trigger oh, fuck i'm stupid the left card into the right card get me out of this fucking goad uh, Swash. Ooh. Finally! Now we're talking! Now we're fucking cooking. We gotta find a Celestial pack again. Uh. Free money in the shop. Uh. Shit. Oh, fine. Do we want death? Probably not. Oh, Chromikel. I mean, it's got to be better than Droll, right? It's better than 10 4 for sure. Nothing. Oh. Oh, man. I can't do it because I won't have the money to buy it because of the way the tooth is going to work. Oh, but it's going to be free. Yeah. Let's do it. We tried. Uh, okay. Oh, I was really hoping that would get us out of it. Uh, okay. And we're out of money. Oh, we have to play one more hand. crazy. Oh, wait. We can use Grabber right now. Temperance pretty good. Temperance really good, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Ballot is better than Droll. 100%. Uh, I should have used Judgment in the middle there. Yo! All these are pretty bad. Uh, we'll, we'll take the nine. Well, at least Jupiter is going to be in there. Ooh, Neptune's in here, too. The head. Okay, we have to actually save enough money to re-roll the head there. Um... That would do it. Oh, fuck me, I guess. Ooh, fuck me, I guess. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize we weren't at max. Pretty insane. Bloodstone seems pretty crazy too. Okay, well we gotta we gotta lose hanging chat here, I think. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to sell Chromikel. Surely we can sell Cartomancer. Sell blue joker? Sell credit card? No, it's a negative. I know. Carto with the Terra Joker, I know. It would be blue, right? It's gotta be blue or Gromy Kale. Those are the only two we can sell. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. We need the chips. I think we need the chips. Feels really fucking bad is the problem. <laughs> Keep Gromi Chill for unlock. Boom. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, we already have that unlock. Yeah, blueprint on Bloodstone. Yeah, I got you. Uh, well, shit. Sorry for losing the money here, but. I know about Cavendosh. I have I've gotten it. That's why I'm upset about it. Oh, come on. Either of these guys don't really need that either. Hack! I will buy and use Neptune. No repeat hand types this round. Wow, that shit is getting... Oh, it's getting re-rolled now, actually. Must play five cards. You know what? I think I'm okay with that. I think we will, in fact, be able to do that. Ooh. 
Hold up. Really great opportunity to finally get this fucking card out of my life. Empada! Ooh, lovers. Lovers on the one of these guys. Holy shit. All right, more of that, please. Uh, man, our straight flush is crazy. Um, our normal flush is ass. Uh, we got the money. Let's open up the buffoon pack. Okay, I don't... Oh! Hold up. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on though. Yeah, you know what's crazy is I actually think we're we're passing on it. Yeah. Plus twenty in a flush that puts it at our worst item. I don't want it either of these. The fool. Oh, I wish we had not bought Neptune most recently. Oh, we should have diced with Bloodstone. You're right. Yeah, we should have. That was a mistake. Mm. Strength. Okay, we win here, right? <laughs> Jesus. Interesting. Uh, we'll we'll buy that for sure. This has potential. Uh oh. Wait, why can't I use it here? That's annoying. Can't afford the hand size? Watch this. Can't I? Holy. Copy Cardamancer, but I want the chariot. But this could be anything. It could even be the chariot. Okay, or it's... Oh, you know, it still could be. Holy. Ooh, we got something there. Uh, this hand looks pretty good. <laughs> we got really crazy really quick. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, I mean, we're still buying that. Sorry, Blue Joker. We got chips and everything. Oh, it still got it. <laughs> Wait, that was what was that? Okay, that's the that's the malt. Wait, I fuck. Okay, um, this is blueprint. Bloodstone is rightmost.
What the fuck? They're just completely out of order. <laughs> we just like got no synergy there and still cleared. That's so funny. You want to go endless? I've never gone endless before. Ow! You're way off. Let's move stuff around. Yeah, like this. Jeez, endless immediately becomes impossible. I just shouldn't be going for spades hands. I legitimately, a scenario where bloodstone can't trigger doesn't work for me, I don't think. Wow, we might be dead here. Blueprint did nothing this hand, by the way. Supernova seems pretty good. <sighs> Is it time to lose a uh, Cardamancer? <sighs> Man, but Cardamancer pumps this one so bad. Maybe Blueprint? We're not losing Blueprint. <laughs> oh, I've never even seen this voucher. We got to find Jupiter, though. <gasps> Speaking of, there it is. <laughs> Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, okay, so how, how much does Supernova do? Let's, let's look at it together. 36. I mean, that's a lot. Wow, I didn't realize we just had to score 570,000. Okay, that was not really what I wanted. Maybe someday we'll get a straight flush. Thank you. 
That bloodstone did dick fuck anything. Holy shit. I was like, fuck you. You ain't getting shit. One, two, three, four. Oh, I really don't want to play this. But I will. Bloodstone! Fucking hell! Work with me here! That was nothing. Okay, th this is going to be a good hand. Three, four, five. Come on, Bloodstone. I'm begging you. We got a few triggers off that. Ah, uh, not enough. Can't do it with the spades hand. Fuck. Okay. We got to 10. That's new. All right, what did we get? Beat boss blind with a high card. That was funny. That's how we got hanging, Chad. Enhance 16 cards in your deck. Excellent. Win a run without paying, playing a pair. And Zodiac deck. Tarot Merchant, Planet Merchant, and Overstock. What is Tarot Merchant and Planet Merchant? Now I have to win on green steak, black steak, blue steak, and orange steak. I feel like those are going to be really hard. Requires Required score scales faster for each ante. Ooh. All right, we're going to call it for tonight in that case. Thank you all for sticking around. I'm going to be back tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be doing the U playing Master Roulette Season 2. We're going to be playing Master of Faster. We're going to be looking at new cards Pog Champ. I know you all want to check that shit out. See you then. For now, let's see who's online I can throw you over to. Um, Pack is doing an AFK Journey sponsored stream. Well, if they pay me money, I would, I would host him. But instead, we'll host someone in the Master Duel category. Let's see who we got. Uh, let's send him over to a Soup Coming In Hot, is this person's name. Soup Coming In Hot. Bye.